Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Today, we're joined with Sarah Martinez, fellow human and now friend. I love this person so much. I love doing these conversations. No interview, no promotion, just me and another person learning about each other, taking a deep dive in knowing one another. Um, I just hope you do the same. Uh, Just take the time out of your day to do so. Uh, Today is the True Halloween Podcast. I know this is being posted way later, but it is October 31st. The trick-or-treaters are coming out of their caves as we speak. We do get into that, some of the traditions. Uh, We do take part in um, what we've been up to since the last time we saw each other and spoke being a student. Uh, Just the workload of stress we've been under and the self-care era we are manifesting and we are undergoing i am feeling a bit under the weather uh, so if i sound a little weird or if i'm not you know as on point today um and as of recently you know why uh that might be due to the lack of sleep from editing through the late hours I haven't been getting much assistance from my editor, but as October is coming to an end, the spooky spirit is dying out, so I get it. Uh, So here is my conversation with Sarah Martinez. So when you record, do you like, you listen to the whole thing over and over again, huh? And like take out parts? Yeah. That's so much work. (laughs) That's why I said I've been, I've been really, I've been really busy. Nah, because I've been seeing your B-rolls and like you be up all night. Oh my God, dude, you put, you put me on (laughs) B-roll. But I didn't, I I didn't download it at the time. I had it downloaded, but I didn't make an account. Yeah. And then V came on. Yeah. My first B-roll was with her. I know. I saw it. I was like, it's late. Yeah. I was like, all right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this, make it official. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. I really like it. Yeah, it's fun. But Except- right, right before that, I started using Locket. Oh my! Do you friends, use Locket? Yeah, yeah, my friends use Locket. Locket's cool. Locket's yeah. cool. But then I have B roll. I'm like, mm. Mm, yeah. Sometimes you just have to like wait until the right time. <laughs> I'm not always like real. <laughs> it's like be fake. I have a. Uh, I try to see how many times I could take a picture. Like, like, um, it gives you two minutes. I yeah. think the most I've got was seven. Uh-huh. I really, I really want to like see how many I could do and yeah. like how many retakes I could do. Uh-huh. It really calls people out like that. I didn't know. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> damn. Know. So like if I checked, it'd be like eight retakes. But like no one checks it. I mean, I don't at least. So. <laughs> You're not being real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some straight haters on Be Real. Like, really? like they don't, oh, they yeah. don't like it. I had uh, someone on here. The person I had on yesterday, we didn't, you know, that early podcast uh brianna she's like yeah. i don't like it i'm never gonna use it what? i was like hi right, don't knock it till you try it yeah yeah i know i feel like i had it like way way in the beginning. Uh, talking to the uh, talking to the mic oh there you go just pull it pull it around if you need it okay <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks oh yeah i can hear myself way more now there you go okay yeah but like i had it like way in the beginning and then i feel like after me and my friends got it a lot of like our mutual friends got it too and we're like we put you on this <laughs> But oh, they put you on. No, we put them on. You you uh, invented Be Real. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. But like, I feel like we started like right when it came out. Mm-hmm. You started a trend. You started your own mm-hmm. little little pocket. They got to mm-hmm. give credit to you. Exactly. It's mm-hmm. like, go get it. Would you use a coaster? A coaster? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Keeping it clean. <laughs> I've spilled I spilled a paint thinner on this table before. So oh, if you see right there, it's kind of yeah. it's kind of white. I didn't uh-huh. know paint thinner acts the same as gasoline. Uh-huh. So it just like it, it corrodes through plastic. And uh-huh. I had paint thinner in, in a cup Yeah. when we were painting that wall. Uh-huh. And it went through a red solo cup. Oh, and so no. it's it's kind of pink, but it looks more white. Oh, that uh, residue. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> and then one time my friend popped a bottle of champagne in here. Hmm. 
and it just exploded, it exploded everywhere. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. I hate cleaning up messes like that. That's not good. Terrible. I know. Do you use Snapchat? Yes, I do. Still? Streaks? Yeah. No, I don't do streaks. Okay. But like, I ask everybody that. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah. Do you? No, because it's a, it's a dying it's a dying, dying app. Thing. Really? You think Snapchat's dying? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I use it like way more than like I probably should. But I don't know. Are you a certified iPad kid? Can no. you walk, can you eat dinner with uh without no, watching a, a video? No, I can eat without like doing that. <laughs> but I think it's like my main form of communication besides like texting. It's like Snap. Snaps? Yeah. Like whole Snap videos? No, no, no I don't send like videos unless like I'm telling my friend a story. But mm -hmm. if not, I just like me and my friends, we have like group chats. So, like we just send like snaps throughout the day. <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. There was a time yeah. I used to use it all the time. I still yeah. love just drawing on it. Oh my gosh. Stupid little edits. Like, just yeah. I spend way too much time on Snapchat. Edits on Snapchat? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, just drawing on it, putting like emojis and stuff. And, oh my like... gosh. I had it since I think like sixth grade. So, like, sometimes I'd be getting memories and it's so embarrassing. Like, I just remember like always using like the flower crown filter. <laughs> like, you know those like filters? Wow. Honestly, those came yeah. a long way. I mean, from, yeah, flower crowns yeah, and, like, the dog, dog emoji. <laughs> emoji. Yeah. Yeah, so dog, yeah, dog filter. Yeah, the dog filter. That's what you call it. Those now are you so have, good. like, face swap. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. It is way too good. It's, it's a little, like, scary. It accurately. is scary. Yeah. I tried it one time with my mom. It, like, freaked me the fuck out. I was like, what the heck? You switched faces with your mom? Yeah. I was like, mom, let's see how similar we look. Or but, like put like a celebrity face on. Yeah, you're like, hey guys, this is me. <laughs> yeah. You can make your own cameos. Oh, I haven't tried doing that yet. Have you? Like paying someone to do a cameo? No, no, no. Like on Snapchat, there's like another like cameo type thing. I don't know what it is. What? I I don't know. I don't know how it works. I would love to get paid to do that. People yeah. just give me a script yeah. to say something off the wall, just like super left field. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I know. So what have you been up to? Just editing? Is this yeah. your your main yeah. like thing yeah. to do? I spend a lot of time in here. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah. The yeah. I went uh I went I bought all these pumpkins. Yeah. I went to a, a pumpkin patch that was like really close. Oh, is it the Frosties? The Frosties. The one across the Ogre Land, like in June Hills. Oh, no. It's oh, like, it's you could see it from my backyard. Oh, that pumpkin patch. Yeah. Okay. Like your own pumpkins? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, we, we grow Pumpkin? uh, pumpkins here in, oh. in my backyard. Yeah. Oh. Wait. I, I can't tell you're being. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just kidding. No, no. It's like across the street, but you could okay. see it from. Okay. You could see it from my backyard. That's how close oh, it is. Oh, okay. Walking distance. It's it's within walking distance, yeah. yeah. And so like I'm like friends with the lady now because oh. like, I like I'll go there like super early when yeah. they open, and then she's like, "Oh, you're back," mm -hmm. and like um, I usually do it uh, when I'm like running in the morning, yeah. And so I, I'm like giving her like sweaty yeah. money. Ooh. So I was, like, I've just been yeah. I've been running, so there you go. Oh, you little pumpkin. You said you've never carved a pumpkin before, right? Yeah, I don't think. Oh no, actually, I might have when I was little, but like only once. Like I've never like really done like major stuff on halloween so did you carve that one yeah i carved it from a really big white one and yeah. i carved it into this little one you're lying i am okay <laughs> i was like what no the cute pumpkin it is one of them uh one of them would like start getting like real squishy and like gross yeah like really soft it was, um, yeah it was disgusting oh my gosh yeah, we when, should wear costumes. Today is Halloween. I, I think I should like preface this whole oh, entire podcast with that. Have. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be Harley Quinn later. Really? Yeah, my friend is gonna be like the Joker, and then our other friend is gonna be like Batman. <laughs> Which Batman? I have no idea. He's um, gotta be Pattinson. I, probably. He said. And which Joker? Like, and which Harley Quinn? Dude, I don't. Even, there's different. Oh yeah, there's different <laughs> ones, huh? I have no idea. I'm just gonna do like the original, like whatever she dresses up as. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think I'm fully prepared because, like, I prepped a costume, like, way, way last minute. So, yesterday, I just, like, found something in my closet. I was like, this will do. I'll just do her makeup. Hopefully, it looks like Harley Quinn. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, the pink and, like, the uh -huh. blue. 
Do a little half and half. Yeah. For the pigtails. Pigtails. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it turns out decent. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to a, you're going to a kickback. And was, yeah. You just want to be the best looking person there. Like well, with a costume. Yeah. You, but, don't want, you just don't want to be lame and not have anything. Yeah. So it'll be something. At least. A little bit of effort. Yeah. I know. I went to um, my friends like. In Irvine, one of her, um, like, the frats were there, and it was, like, also a costume mm -hmm. party. It was my first one. I was like, whoa, this is cool. <laughs> At your, the frat. Your first party? Yeah, like, first frat party, because mm -hmm. I, I go to community, so it's, yeah. like, there's really not, no parties, like, when you're in community college, mm -hmm. I feel like. So you have to, like, know, like, different people who can get you into, like, others. Yeah, my dad goes to the same school you do. He's at school right now. For real? Yeah. What's he taking? Uh, architectural design. That's sick. Yeah, he's always uh, out and about. Yeah, out and about at school, and he'll have his uh, drawings out. Uh, we gotta like trace a lot of stuff, and mm -hmm. so now we just joke whenever I have people over. I'm like, oh yeah, is, like this is just my dad's like yeah. uh, 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 bank blueprints, mm -hmm. to, so we could rob a bank. Oh, <laughs> and if you're down, we could use a you know a, so, to muscle. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And if you look closely, it's like pictures of like trees and stuff. Oh my gosh! It's crazy because they make yeah. them, they they make them like draw that like just like two Artists scale just, like people, uh -huh. trees. Yeah. It's really interesting. Oh, yeah. I don't think I have that like artistic. I'm not really that artistic in like thinking. It's like if you yeah, ask you me to draw everything. something, yeah. Like in like elementary when we had projects, like I just traced everything like. I could not like even right now my pictures they're still stick figures like I haven't like made anything and any effort to like mm. make it blueprint. what are you taking i'm doing nursing right now mm -hmm. so it freaking sucks like have you heard about like nursing majors and everyone like a little bit we'd be really going through some tales some legends yeah i don't know it's just very a lot of dedication you have to put into studying mm -hmm. like i feel like ever since i started like college all i think about now is just like study 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 when am i gonna put like study in my schedule like that's like my n main thing right now and it's kind of sad but like i really want to pass yeah so yeah. like today i'm like okay i don't have time you, to study. you came just from school yeah i came just from school but like i have an exam this wednesday so and i need to turn in my math homework before 11 59 so i'll do that <laughs> and then you're gonna go to your friend's kickback yeah after this. yeah we'll get ready after that somewhere in, in that between, time yeah. it'll happen i have my backpack so I asked someone mm -hmm. for like answers because like I literally like don't understand what we're doing right now. I'm so lost. I'm taking stats. So math is not like my main thing. Yeah. It's always been like hard for me. I don't know if it's like a mental block or something, but I just always said I hate math. So I took I took AP stats in high school. No way. I only took a semester though. I oh, dropped out. You dropped out? Yeah. I was taking uh, what, uh I was taking um anatomy and physiology oh, as yeah. well yeah. i really like that one stats was cool too mm -hmm. i really enjoyed stats but i was okay. just way too busy yeah it was really interesting i mean i'm in senior i don't want to say like i was like wasn't much of a math guy and like you know yeah i don't know, just like subconsciously like block myself from thinking i can't do math yeah me but i mean i haven't done math since <laughs> yeah uh since then so mm. i know i skipped a, a year of math because senior year i didn't do like math mm -hmm. so right now i'm still like becoming refreshed on everything but I did take anatomy last year, so at least now I'm taking anatomy again, mm -hmm. and it's it's all the same stuff. Practically, yeah, it's the same stuff, but like obviously more in depth because it's like college. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. That's like my main class right now. It's just anatomy. Ellie's always uh, Ellie just finished her classes, not just a uh, few weeks ago now. Oh yeah, with her dude. Like, but then now lot. I figured she would be more free. Yeah, I haven't seen not. her for weeks. Have you seen? Was the last time we seen her like at the party? Oh or my God, you... I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. Low key. Dang. High key, just factuals. I think that I think that was the last time I saw her and busy Alexa woman, too. For real. And so I thought she would be more free. Yeah. But she's more busy, and now she's doing like externship. Like I am. Now you get paid. I know. That's crazy. But what well, she has to do it for two two months, three months. Two months. Two months, right. and then uh, actually get a job in Arizona. Um. So. Aww. That's so sad. I, I will see her before then. Yeah, you have to. I have to. Okay, me too. Like, I don't work with her all the time, but, like, she does visit, and I see her when we, like, exchange, like, shifts. So, mm -hmm. 
I'm going to miss her, though. We'll visit her. If I always see those two. It's either the both of you guys on your B-rolls. It's yeah. always like you studying. Yeah. Or uh, uh, like what are them doing some you, work? your coworkers, all your friends yeah. at work. Yeah. Those are funny because you guys will post them all at the same time. I know. I was like, <laughs> this was like two minutes after the other one. Everybody was like, let's just do it. Let's I know. Just, everybody pull out their beer. I know. When one person does it, everyone else does uh-huh. it. I'm like, okay, I'll do mine too, I guess. <laughs> I don't yeah. have notifications for that, so I never know when it goes off. You don't have a notification? No, I keep notifications off for all social media. Oh, you know what? Does that, is that help you a lot? <sighs> I feel like it would help you to not have the urge to, like, check your social media. Like, taking off notifications. Yeah. Because, like, I see one notification, I'm, like, I'm getting my phone, like, right away. Mm -hmm. So. But I think because of that, like, I'm not getting notifications. What if somebody does text me? Yeah, the thing. Like, see, what if I... It's just the copium. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's just a for like... Oh no, I have to check social media because someone might have texted me. No one's texting me. Yeah. Do I really need to turn my phone on Do Not Disturb? No, but no one ever not? calls me or texts me. <laughs> Stop. I'm serious. I mean, the only uh, my sister called me mm-hmm. yesterday. Yeah, and that's my family. But like, that's about it. That's about it. I know. Sometimes I'm like in class, I'm like checking my phone as if like someone's gonna like text me, but like really it's just blank. <laughs> like there's nothing there. But it is what it is. <laughs> we're like we're like cyborgs. If this was like duct tape to our hand. Hmm. I know. It it. Just... We have reached peak human. Peak. I know. <laughs> just born with the phone in our hand. That's so sad, though. Like, low key, like, thinking about it, like, technology has changed, like, so much. And, like, we're, like, now look at these iPad kids. Like, literally, they're born, and, like, the first thing you do is, like, yeah. a tablet. I mean, seeing, like, we were talking about, like, the filters of the crown filter, like, the dog filter. Like, yeah. You look back at some of those. Like you said, like, you look back at, at yeah. your memories, and they look really cruddy compared to now. To now. Yeah. It's, like you said, it's, it's it's actually scary. Yeah. But even still, like, memories from, like, let's say, like, last year or two years ago, like, I'd be getting those. And sometimes it makes me so sad because, like, you know how it's, like, memories, like, a year ago or, like, mm-hmm. however many. Yeah. So it just makes me remember when I look at it, I'm like, damn, like. Two years ago, I was happy. Like, <laughs> what happened now? Or, like, two years ago, like, I was looking good. I was on my peak era. Like, what is happening now? You know? This is not your self-care era. <laughs> no, I'm trying to make it. Like, to be honest, last year, I was probably going through, like, a lot of, like, mental, like, issues. Mm-hmm. The same time last year because of, like, seasonal depression and everything. Yeah. So, right now, I'm, like, getting deja vu sometimes. Like, when it's gloomy, I just... I feel so sad. Like, I didn't know seasonal depression was, like, that real. But, like, it hit me as soon as, like, fall started. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, why am I sad? Like, I need sunlight. Like, I just felt sad for no reason. That happens to me sometimes. Yeah. But I think it's... So, so I used to do wrestling for a few years, 11 years. Mm -hmm. And it's that's over the winter season. Yeah. And so I feel like because of that, that is also correlated with, like... Uh, some sort of like seasonal depression yeah like i didn't but i mean after after high school you know i haven't done it since then yeah so last year i didn't like have i didn't feel anything at all yeah but i think it was just the normal amount i guess healthy amount of like i I think it would happen to anybody Mm -hmm. because the sun isn't out like it plays a big role yeah i mean people out there like take your like vitamin d like people living up north like it's a a real thing yeah It's, it's a real thing for real but I, I do get, uh, I, like, glimpses of that, like, either mm-hmm. from, like, working out or from, like, running, and I'm, like... You get reminded. I get reminded of, like, me in, like, wrestling season, no. like, trying to cut weight. Yeah. Which was, like, oh. I wouldn't say the healthiest thing. I know. Uh, wrestlers, but... went, you guys went through so much, huh? Like, you had to be, like, a certain weight, right? Yeah. And, like, yeah. I know. I heard a lot about it. I was, like, dang. And didn't you, like, also, like, run with, like those like trash bags on you did you ever do that uh or maybe like, like once i wasn't that much of an idiot okay <laughs> i know some people went like to the max yeah that's no it, it it can get like really scary it's it sometimes it just turns into competitive eating disorder yeah that's dangerous seriously uh but now i think i i'm just yeah like i'm just past that now yeah. which is really good and now I'm, uh i don't know i just understand everything yeah i know i don't I never was, like, into, like, competitive or, like, sports like that. Mm -hmm. But I did have, like, a 
gym phase at least i think at like one point like i was trying to like stay consistent like every single day at the gym and like recently now i canceled my la membership like i had an la fitness membership mm -hmm. and it was like 35 like dollars a month but now that i have school like i haven't had time to like go to the gym and like I feel so like bad about it. So my mom was like on me and she's like, okay, you have to cancel it because you've only been like twice this month and you're paying like 35. I was like, true. So I ended up canceling it. Yeah. So now my only hope is like my other friends who have a guest pass. So mm. I go with them. Do they go more consistently? I feel like if you have a gym partner, you're more likely to like, you know, go if both of you are like mm -hmm. trying to stay motivated. Yeah. So there was a point where I was, uh, I work out at home. I have a setup yeah. here, but then it just it just got boring. And my mm -hmm. friends work out as well. Yeah. And so finally, we just we we, we just talked about it. We're like, yeah, yeah, we're all feeling a little unmotivated. Yeah. We're pretty consistent, yeah. but just unmotivated. So we decided to kind of collectively put our put our equipment yeah. together and do and it just, at my friend's house like yeah. every day. And we we're doing good. it for a few weeks. Yeah. It was so cool. And it, it feels was good. Really fun. Yeah. But um. It stopped. <laughs> yeah, it stopped. Yeah, those are the friends that um. Are not here right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. not because of that. that was many months ago. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I brought it up again, and I was like, "We need to, we need to do that again." No, I know. I remember me and my friends in like senior year, we would always be like, "Okay, this week we're gonna work out this time, and then do something afterwards." And it was like fun. And then I don't know when it stopped. It just ended up like not happening. But it was a good time, like just working every day. Mm -hmm. I know. I just feel better about myself when I work out, I guess. Yeah. All the we know all the things we should be doing. Yeah. Going to sleep early and things like that. Like going to the gym and like eating sun. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I guess like we're not taking care of ourselves now anymore. Wait, this is supposed to be the self-care era. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Okay, no, this is a self-care era. No, Just this will be. Cut all of that. Cancel all of that. We're not putting that out there. No, I'm going to be like best version of myself mm -hmm. this we need some affirmations. Yeah. You know, I was telling myself, okay, like, seasonal depression, what is that? It's not going to get me. I'm going to, like, reinvent seasonal <laughs> depression and make it, like, I don't know, seasonal happy or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I don't know. I just hope that I'm not, like, as sad anymore as last year. So I'm going to reinvent seasonal depression and make it a good, good time of the year. Because mm -hmm. I used to be really happy around, like, fall. I'd be so excited. I'm like... Christmas is soon, like you know the holidays. Yeah. But now I'm just like, man. <laughs> is that is that seasonal depression or is that because you're not a child anymore? Oh, um, maybe both. To be honest, yeah, maybe because yeah, <laughs> not thinking about it. Like I was a child. Ever since I realized Santa wasn't real. <laughs> no, it was so fun. I remember like getting ready for like Christmas and like I would be so excited to put up the lights and everything. Mm. And then, like, the past few years, like, I haven't been home. Like, I come home, my mom already has the tree done. Yeah. I'm like, you didn't wait for me. <laughs> She's like, well, you were busy. I'm like, okay. That's just what happens. People people I just know. get busy. I remember, or I, I should say, I don't remember the last time. Yeah. Like, my family all got together to sit down for, like, yeah. for dinner. Aww. And that, I mean, oh, that sounds really sad. <laughs> no, no, me too, though. But, like, I get you. I mean, that's, that's just what happens. Yeah. And it's, um... I don't know, just making the time for that. Yeah. I mean, if it's uh, if it's something like that, you think it's not as productive. So like, oh, I'd rather go, you know, study or like, yeah, or me like being here editing. Like, yeah. I mean, I did that for my birthday. Oh. But it was. But here's the thing. Like, it was during the week. Yeah. Like so all of my friends were you busy. Know, were busy. Yeah. But uh they all came and like surprised me oh, I, but cute. i was like in here i was yeah. like in here editing and like they all just like walked in the oh. room i was like what the hell hey happy birthday i was like oh what's up that's cool yeah oh i mean but it was it was more of like a decision of my own of like that this is what i like doing yeah I'd, 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 i'm cool with it okay i mean i feel like as long as like you're fine with what you're doing then like yeah. sort of independency in a way yeah but i don't know recently i've been trying to like make more time for people too though because mm -hmm. i've realized like what i told you earlier because i've been studying a lot like i've been pushing aside like a lot of like time for my other friends and i feel bad sometimes because i used to make like a lot of plans with them and i keep telling them like oh, okay i'll do this with you i'll do that with you but it always never ends up happening like we become too busy and we're like okay next week and then next week turns into the following week and then like a month passes mm -hmm. and like we still haven't done that plan i was like oh sorry that's that's why i really like 
doing this like it forces me yeah to do it yeah um i mean besides the point that like i said i was like busy like editing and stuff if, if i were to have an editor yeah then you'd and be all more free. i could do is just talk to people yeah oh then you'd be chilling mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's uh that's my actually my editor right now hey, uh, the skeleton right there yeah so <laughs> but um they're an intern so you know like sometimes like they're not oh my gosh i could shit. use that skeleton like I, that would have been so useful for my anatomy bone practical <laughs> oh my gosh we literally had a skeleton and i'd be like memorizing every single bone there name all the bones it's too much there's like 200 something <laughs> my there was a biology teacher in high school that was getting rid of one of their skeletons mm -hmm. that like stood up and like rolled around and stuff yeah oh and and they told me oh i'm getting rid of it yeah so i asked Wait, them, like, could i is that from them that's not it no oh, okay. i bought that at home depot okay. like two weeks ago okay i was gonna say like dang you really asked your bio teacher no dude oh it was sad mm -hmm. uh so i asked them they're like no no not yet uh, yeah maybe there was mm -hmm. a lot of maybe that's what it was yeah so at the end of the year i asked them again mm -hmm. and they're like no no it's, it's like it's school. like yeah it's it's the it's the school's property this yeah. and that i was like this sounds Come like excuses now. they're gonna chuck it i <laughs> know they're gonna throw it away and like never see it again so i've always wanted one so i finally got one good job good job mm -hmm. wow i know because one of my friends also told me like when we we're doing a bone practical they're like oh i saw like a skeleton at like home depot like we can use it to study i'm like i'm not <laughs> we'll just borrow the skeleton from school <laughs> yeah you could borrow yeah. it you color code it yeah that would be pretty useful i don't think it's like perfectly uh every single yeah yeah but you know you get the major ones yeah the major bones in there I don't know. I have to, um, what do you call this? Remember all of the organs now for my anatomy. Because oh. our first one was bones. The second one was like muscles. And then now it's organs. Yeah. So I can't use that anymore. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to have. Yeah. It's a little, little um, companion. It know? is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like any siblings? I do. I have two siblings. Uh, the one that used to live here and then... And then uh, Moved out, and they also have another sibling. They're at Disneyland right now for Halloween. Wow, that yeah. must be nice. And they didn't invite you? Uh, or you didn't want to? No, it's like their thing. It's fine. I, I'm, like I said, I've been yeah. busy. So. Wait, do you have like sisters or brothers? I have two older sisters. Oh, so you're the only boy? Yeah. How do you like it? It's cool. I like it. Uh, That's in good. comparison to, um, I don't know, some of my other friends who only grew up with, with, like one. brothers it, it, there yeah. there is a difference yeah and it's it's funny to see that do you think like, they're like more rowdy if they grow up really good? yeah 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 i mean that's that's just how it is yeah uh, but then you know i wish i had a uh like a younger brother just like <laughs> a bro a bro <laughs> uh then i would then i would have a built-in gym bro stop <laughs> oh my gosh no but that's nice though i think that like at least for guys if you grew up with sisters i think that's like a good thing because you know at least they'll like understand you more and like they know what girls go through and like stuff like that yeah no if i if i were to have kids i, I would want uh older uh older. girls and then boys yeah yeah but it's, i mean for now it's it's fuck them kids it's what it's, it's fuck them kids oh stop FTK. no like i actually like i really want a kid. <laughs> but like right now okay not now but like I've been seeing a lot of babies. I'm like, oh my baby God. fever. I have What's baby on your fever. Instagram explore page? What's on the TikTok for you page? Is no, it babies? It's not all babies. It used to be, but like now it's just like random mess up. But like still, I love babies. Like at my church, like there's a lot of babies, and then uh -huh. like they're so cute. Like I want one. <laughs> but I don't know. I think it's always like been a thing for me to like want to raise a family. I don't know. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not like ready or like. I don't look forward to like having kids and like having all that like responsibility but yeah. it makes sense but i think to me it's like because i'm an only child so how's that <laughs> how's that do you have older uh, older only child tendencies <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> i don't know i feel um because a lot of people say that but i'm like what yeah what is like what do you only child tendency yeah. I, I don't know it's um like i do something like oh it's because you're only child that makes sense i'm like what do you what is that supposed to mean yeah that, i mean it is just like boxing you in but i feel like a lot of times it's people who gravitate 
towards the internet a lot more and are more i don't want to say like in tune with it no Mm -hmm. not not even closed off but like you could just see like the social behaviors is a a lot different Different. i don't know i couldn't like actually like put put it into words and tell you what it is Mm -hmm. But yeah. you can just tell like a lot of a lot of their inspiration and what they get is from like online or from their parents, which yeah. is a totally different generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's true because I feel like a lot of people, you know, they get their things from like their siblings, or, like whatever, like, you know, how the family runs. But to mm. me, it's like I've never had like anyone to talk to in my house. Like, you know, like if I want to like talk to someone, like literally the only people I have are like my parents. And like I can't really like explain my whole life story and like tell them every like deepest darkest secret i have you know yeah so like that's why i'm like all the time like either texting my friends or like you know Mm -hmm. that's why i'm like really close with them because they're like the closest thing i have to like brothers and sisters but yeah yeah i don't know i have like two main um childhood best friends Mm -hmm. there i've known one of them since like literally i was one years old so I would qualify them as like my sisters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like two of them, like yeah, I would say they're like. What about cousins? Do you have cousins your age? Okay, this is so sad because literally like all of them are far away. That so I'm telling you like my family is literally like strand in the center, and there's like none of our family around us. So I'm literally by myself because the closest thing we have is my second cousins who are in Riverside, mm-hmm. and then. My uncle from my dad's side, my tío, he's in Utah. And then the rest of my parents' family, my dad's side, they're all in Mexico. And my mom's side, they're all in the Philippines. So if we want a family gathering, literally just there's like six of us. Or like that's what ten. Christmas looks like. That's what Thanksgiving looks like. No, for real, I'm not even joking. Like it's the people from uh, the family from Riverside come through. They come. You got yeah. to. I mean, yeah, yeah. they have to. Maybe oh, the uncle from Utah. Okay, mm, yeah, he comes like sometimes Some- during like Thanksgiving. You you choose either either one. Yeah, they come sometimes. It's not like every single year. Uh. So I forgot. We do have um my mom's cousin. So I would say like my uncle. Mm-hmm. Um, they're in Cerritos. I forgot about that. So it's the Riverside and the Cerritos family. Yeah, they come and then there's about like ten, twelve of us if the kids are coming. So that's about it for the family gatherings. Any your age. No, I'm literally the oldest. So I literally am just that big sister they all have. <laughs> They're all like, I think the next oldest is like sixth, fifth grade. But I'm literally the oldest out of like all of them. So like now, because last year when I spent the summer with them, it was so funny because I didn't know who to talk to. Like, should this I past just, summer? Um, Yeah, this summer. Yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. My cousins came over and then... Um, I don't know who to talk to. I was like, should I just stay with the adults or should I stay with like these three year olds like and just like take care of them? So I would like switch between groups because I have no one else to like Mm -hmm. talk to, which is fine. But start talking about the economy like, "Mm, Mm, all right, they don't know. (laughs) I know. But I love my cousins like um, I count them as like my brother and sister because I have one of them is like boy. I think he's like around eight. And then Mm -hmm. one of them is a girl. She's like three or four. So when they came over this summer, like, I really enjoyed my time with them because, you know, I, I don't really have that closeness in the family with, like, brothers and sisters. So yeah, I treat them like they were my children. <laughs> to really, like, teach younger cousins and stuff like that, just mm-hmm. do, you know, just life advice and things like that. It's, it's, um, it's very rewarding. Yeah. I, I think about, like, I don't, I don't know, I guess I would say I'm, like, indifferent to, like, wanting kids, but, like, if... Mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. I think like if I ever if I don't, yeah, then I would feel this like weird sense of unfulfillment. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say like it's super deep, but I think at one point you would think, all right, what now? Yeah, if you don't have kids. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But that's I mean that's so far in the future. Like yeah. I don't know what that's gonna look like. I don't know if I'm gonna be just bored. I know. Right. Yeah. Because that happens with a lot of parents. Uh, you know, call uh called the just empty nesters like all the yeah. kids are grown up yeah well, like what do they do and yeah they're like oh we spend so much time with our kids like yeah. what do those who don't have like what do they do uh-huh. i don't know i actually the one in um cerritos um my uncle or like my tia and tia mm-hmm. um they actually don't have kids so um, <laughs> vacations all the time i'm i'm guessing yeah but a lot of time they're just working to be honest and 
I think it's just like they spend most of their money on like our family for like gifts and stuff because they have no one else to like, mm-hmm. you know. That's why like I feel like they treat me like a lot like specialer because I'm like, you know, family <laughs> and like, yeah. <laughs> Even though they don't have kids, but they just like give you like a hundred dollars in your okay. They don't got bands like that. Our, our <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but yeah. Oh, like I think like they have a necklace. Oh no, I don't. Oh, but like I have a necklace. They gave it to me. I was like, oh thanks, and mm-hmm. it was like infinity one. They're like, it represents like we'll always be with you. I'm like, oh how cute. Because <laughs> they don't have kids. Yeah, but I don't know. But like what I was saying like earlier, I think it's like. I want to have kids because, I don't know, I've just always wanted to, like, be a, like, not a mentor, but it's fun, like, watching, like, them grow up and, like, hopefully become, Mm -hmm. like, a good, you know, Mm -hmm. child that they are. That's why I treat, like, my cousins, like, as my, like, you know, children. And, like, because the last time I saw them when they were babies, and, like, it's just fun seeing them grow up. But it's also sad, too, because, you know, like, they're getting older, but I want to, like, you know be that cooler like cousin that will will have fun with them like i literally like cardi like i was playing like cardi music to like no and i felt so bad because i'm like what if i'm a bad influence but like he was having fun like me and him were just like recording like tiktoks and it was just so funny i'm like oh my gosh she's gonna grow up to be a vamp like i raised him right a vamp. <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> but it's cute though like they're really into like i was trying to get them into like my music <laughs> that's fun that's yeah. so fun like yeah. listen to, and like they're not gonna like really complain you, you just play and they're like okay and like my little cousin like i gave him my phone and he's like do you have spotify and i was like yeah i do and he like googled like blueberry fago on my phone or something what is that it's like this one tiktok sound that was like really like popular when tiktok first came out it's like i don't know but he was just playing all of those like tiktok songs mm-hmm. like where are you getting this from I don't know where he gets from because he doesn't even have TikTok. Maybe his friends at school. I don't know. Kids kids nowadays, they know too much. Oh, yeah. I have two little cousins. I love when they come through. Yeah. They're uh, uh, 9 and 10. Nine, 8 and 9 or 9 and 10. Mm-hmm. But I love hanging out with them uh, just to, like, they are. They are iPad kids. Yeah. They're always asking me, like, you know, to play video games. And, like, yeah. they see this and they're like, play on the switch and like fortnite no. and this and that and i could see how this is like a kid's like dream playground or something <laughs> Cause look because at a lot of the times they're they're watching other people yeah play fortnite and exactly. things like that so they're always asking me uh and like one time i did have minecraft on here but like yeah. i don't i don't play video games anymore okay but they're always asking me too they're always like can we play and i'm like i'm so uh, busy i'm sorry but i try to yeah i try to just like engage with them in conversation because i yeah. know that they are on the screen all the time yeah it's like, so time I was to like, get hey, let's phone? just like go out and like I'll play with you guys. Mm-hmm. I know, like, cause I feel like now the kids in our like they're being born now, they won't have that same type of experience like that we had in the past. Mm-hmm. And like even like way way back then, I feel like they like our parents, they definitely like were raised in a very different environment than we were, mm-hmm. cause we were still like born with like phones and stuff, but like the older generation, like they weren't born without anything you know like my dad was saying like yeah like back in my day like we didn't like have phones and stuff like that he'd just be comparing like just like what did you like what did you do what did you do all day but i don't know is your your dad's mexican right yeah does he ever like tell like stories of like how rough life was like in mexico or did your dad ever have like those stories i hear a few stories here and there yeah glimpses that he that he tells me yeah i'm, I'm always really intrigued when he does no i I'm know like, please tell me more because <laughs> i i have you know i we grow up <laughs> i feel like i don't have a lot of life experience uh-huh. mm. uh i mean that's i don't know that's probably why i talk to so many people yeah but like i've never i've lived here my entire life yeah so there's like uh, not much to it yeah yeah. So like, I don't sense. know, maybe like like traveling or something like that. Never done Would that. I mean, have people on here. They're like, oh yeah, I moved like five different times. Yeah. Alexa. Yeah. She. I, that's what. That's what she, she did. Dang. Like she lived on the East Coast for a few years. Um. I feel like those are really cool experiences, and, though, to be honest. But I haven't moved either. Like I've been here my whole life. <laughs> yeah. So if anything, it's just like traveling, with, like my parents mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Have, you said you haven't traveled. I, no, I've traveled. Oh, I've traveled, okay, okay. But not anything like 
extreme or like long periods of time. I had, oh my God, uh, I had this person on here, Masango Agora. They said they uh-huh. they have a lot of family in Kenya. So oh. one time they, they went to go travel to Kenya with their parents. Yeah. And their parents left him and his sister there <gasps> for like How? almost a year. Wait, what do you mean? They just left them with with their family. What do you mean? <laughs> so they like... What? I swear to God. Oh my God. I had to say, oh my We shouldn't God. be laughing. It's all, uh, I mean, he laughs about it now. Wait. But. Did they ever like get them back? Like yeah, his yeah, parents? Yeah. Oh, I thought like they, yeah. like his like original parents abandoned him. No. Oh. Well, it felt like that. Okay. Yeah. They were, they were very distraught when it happened. Abandoned for like a year. That's crazy. I gotta ask. It, it, it's something, something like that. Like about a year. Oh my when God. When they're really young. Uh, I think like. I don't know, some, some about like 10 years old, something like yeah. that. Oh but that's so crazy. him and his sister, and so that's what, they, that's what they did. Oh my gosh. How would you like live without your parents? Like just live in life in the jungle or something like that? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. We have everything like mm-hmm. here in like It's too easy. I know. Like it's just crazy to me to think like how much technology is like. We literally have the whole like internet on our I want hands. the corn syrup injected straight into my veins. <laughs> oh my god. Give it to me. <laughs> literally. Like we can like search up anything. Like million answers are there for us. Like it's so easy to like even like do like online classes now cuz you can just easily cheat like everything. Yeah. But I choose to look up lo-fi versions of uh Dr. Dre songs. Okay. That's just... That's what you use the internet for. Yeah, that's I know. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Because it's funny. Because <laughs> it's so absurd. Well, because lo-fi. <laughs> yeah, it's like all right. You could. I could listen to new music. Yeah, but. Or I could just l- listen to reinvented versions of songs that I already like. Oh, you know, like the sped up versions, like on TikTok, like those slowed sounds. reverb. Yeah, reverb. What Redbone sound like in the bathroom of a high school party? Oh my gosh, those are cool though. Like I see them on YouTube, yeah, like, cool. and they're like very slow ones mm-hmm. and I, it's nice listening to different people do, people do good jobs right yeah hmm. dj <laughs> type i wish i could be a dj no loki i think when i was little like i wanted to like learn how to like do music like that or like i forgot what was that one app where you could like gar- it's called garage or yeah garage band that? garage band yeah. yeah i used to be so into that when i was like little and i would try to like make some different sounds and everything like if I could be a pro at this, this would be pretty like fun hobby to do. You know, just, just to actually make music. Yeah, just to like or like beats, like you know. Be a producer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's call it. <laughs> <laughs> like that'd be really cool. Oh, those people are so cool. I would love to do that and not even, mm-hmm. not even put like my voice to anything. Just like yeah. let the music speak for itself. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy, like, <laughs> to live a life of the artist. <laughs> <laughs> Like imagine <laughs> and struggle and pain That's yeah what it is. i know i feel like especially like songwriters you have to have like i feel like you have to have to go through something traumatic in your life or like something to make you write like a very emotional song mm-hmm. like you know olivia rodrigo like she had to have gone through like breakup Some like stuff. Oh, heartbreak. oh heartbreak you know driver's yeah. license like man that hit the soul of everyone <laughs> I wonder what her next album is going to be. No, I know. Well, we'll see. It's, I don't, oh my God, it's such a, uh, a successful album, debut album. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know, can, can you top that? I don't even know. Like it hit like a lot of like everything so fast. Uh huh. And everyone knows it now. It's, it's crazy yeah. how like her fame like grew like so much. I mean, she was, even when she was little, she was still a very good actor. And, mm-hmm. like, on Bizarre Bark, I remember. And she like, was on that? I think so. Yeah. But, you know that one show with the Jake Paul? Yeah. Yeah. I think she was on it. I'm uh-huh. sure. But, like, yeah, she was still an actor when she was little. But, like, now that she's, like, writing her music, it's, like, she's grown to be, like, a very good, like, singer and, like, artist herself. Like, respect. <sighs> Jody's coming out with an album. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, uh, November fourth. Oh, oh, what's his face? Drake and Twenty One. They're gonna release a new album too. <laughs> no way. Yes! November fourth. Uh, wait. I think not. <sighs> I'm not even di- like. Yeah, it was supposed to be released on October twenty eighth, but they um, said it's gonna be on 
November 4th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, next Friday. Dude. Wait, with Joji too? Is November Dude. 4th? Those are two separate albums. I know, but like, that's yeah, a, good, Joji too. a good night for music. Like, that oh is a good God. night for music. Oh my God. My expectation. Do I want to cry or do I want to like. Like, be lit. Some, 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 some be lit. No, because like, <laughs> the name of um 21 and Drake's new album is like Her Loss. Whoa. Yeah, so we'll see what they have on there. Dude. <laughs> like, the boy's gonna go crazy on this one. <laughs> what do I listen to first? Oh my gosh. We'll see. Depends on what I'm doing. I know. My expectations, they're high right now, but like, I don't wanna keep them too high because what if it's like bad or like mm. not the top tier? Because you know, like, Drake's, the new his new album, like the one. Certified Lover Boy? Yeah. No, no, not the other one honestly never mind yeah yeah yeah. It's, yeah it's okay like i was expecting more from it like it's still pretty good but i hope it's better do you like do you um do you like the house music that he's doing or the pushing house. out a little bit more um i could see like some of it is like vibey like to play like at a party like edm kind of type but if i want to listen to it in my car it wouldn't be like the exact type of music yeah you know? Yeah. Like, I can't really, like, sing along with it or anything. Mm, that's true. But it does have good beats, like I would say. Depends on what the situation is. Yeah. But I feel like, um, do you know Keitronata? No. Oh, Keitronata's the person that, that's done, like, a lot of more. Uh-huh. Just, uh... Like, house music? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, house room. House room? House. House. House music. Things like that. Just <laughs> electronic. Uh, the producers, they don't, um have vocals on any of their own tracks but like they've been doing for a they've been doing it for a long time and yeah I, you know drake being top yeah. artist now is pushing it out there yeah and people are like oh this can, is how it you is. change your style it's like yeah people have been doing it for a long yeah. time though <laughs> they've been on. doing it yeah they've been doing it it's just that drake has always been like very like rap and like yeah so i'm excited to see what this album's gonna be yeah i don't know but a lot of new music came out last week too i believe like for different people mm-hmm. So now we're in a fall winter season album drops. Yeah. Because summer goes crazy every, every Yeah, year. everyone is like releasing something. But they have to drop on a Friday, which is really annoying. <laughs> like it's just like I don't know. It, it upsets it upsets me. Why? Just drop it on a Tuesday. What's wrong with dropping it on a Tuesday? <laughs> You're against Friday. What's the difference? <laughs> Friday's well, if the everybody's end of dropping the week. on Friday. It's the end of the week on a Friday. So somebody's going to listen. I don't know. I feel like someone is 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 much just as likely to listen to music on a Tuesday evening than yeah, a Friday evening. That's true. But I don't know. I think that's just how it is sometimes. They're like, mm-hmm. okay, everyone just stay in your home all, for, all day Friday and just listen to music. Yeah, everybody's going to be in their home. If Okay, we're talking about the usual 9 yeah. to 5 Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. People are going to be in their homes Monday yeah. through Friday so why not thursday mm-hmm. yeah and fridays when you're out like out and about yep doing things. halloween's the exception i know and full moons mm. mm-hmm. yeah wow halloween hollow weekend hollow weekend <laughs> i know yeah. i feel like a lot of people who like partied this weekend they're like very much like tired they should be i would be so have you been to any parties i only went to the that one that i went to in irvine with my friend on friday mm-hmm and then yesterday, I just went out with my friends. Did you dress up? Um, for the Irvine one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. I was a schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You just dressed up as yourself. Yeah, you know, typical schoolgirl. <laughs> you know. The That's usu- lame. The you gotta usual. dress up as something you're not. Okay, I know. But, like, all I had brought was literally, like, a skirt, a white, like, button-up, and then like another top underneath <laughs> and my boots and i was like what? whoa who is this <laughs> i wonder what i can be like uh-huh. teacher or a schoolgirl. it can go both ways it could go both ways because i had my glasses too so i was like mm-hmm. it's giving kind of hopefully uh-huh. people get them. you wear glasses um it was my blue light glasses mm-hmm. yeah you put some tape in the middle then it's like nerd oh see it's very versatile with the outfit you can do yeah. anything yeah or like frat person like with a hat backward <laughs> red solo cup <laughs> be like frat boy <laughs> that's true that would have been a good costume though yeah but i feel like it's very um used a lot 
mm-hmm. like in high school, like frat boy. Is it too meta because you're already at a frat party? Mm, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> what were you last year? Or did you even dress up? What was I last year? I was an astronaut last year. Uh-huh. I still have the costume. I wore it again this year because I actually yeah. I didn't like post it. So like yeah, like no so one like, knows. No one, yeah, no yeah. one knows. Uh, but there is a party that happens every year. Uh, mm-hmm. Some family that I have that throws it every year. So I didn't wear that costume yeah. for that party. I wore a different costume. Uh, I was uh, Michael Myers oh. this year. Okay, but I love the astronaut costume. Yeah. I'll, I'd like sleep Do in you have, if like, I could. The head or whatever, anything. That's the hat for it. Oh, the NASA. The helmet? Mm, yeah, yeah. That would have been cool. <laughs> but I don't like masks. Oh, okay. Like a big and, thing. So it so being Michael Myers was a little weird, so I just look like a welder or like mm-hmm. a mechanic. Oh. I mean, you can be anything you want, honestly. Halloween, give it up to the people. Like they're just gonna decide what you're looking like. Yeah. I mean, you could even be yourself. <laughs> Sometimes people are like way too specific. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I I don't know what you are, but Good job. Good job. Yeah, good job for trying. Oh, my God, my friend. You know what? I'll pull it up. Okay. I'll pull it up, and you tell me what it looks like, what it is. Okay. You have, like, a certain costume. Ooh. Whoa, Google's looking. Halloween. Real fancy. I know. Dang. All right. So, you know. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You can like pull it up on your computer. Uh, what the hell? Why is it not? Oh, wait. Or do they spell it with the... Oh, they spell it with the... <gasps> Where hmm. are they? What the frick? Can't find it. I swear I follow them. Whoa. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you know how to spell it? No, no. I just forgot their uh, username. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Look at this costume. Um, what, do you th- what do you think that is? A witch? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I am the wicked wiener. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Um, it looks Thoughts. Like she's wearing a wig. What is that? Like a witch hat? <laughs> a worm? I don't know. But their, their post is very cryptic too. Earth's secrets. Sanctif- sanctified. sanctified. Prototype 2 of inspired ancient Babylonian fur hat. It's. Someone said Guardian of the Tank. What's Guardian that? of the Tank. Maybe it's like a reference to like a movie they watched or something. I, I don't know. They, uh, I, I DM'd them. Yeah. And I, I told them, I was like, I don't know what this is. Yeah. But but I like it. Yeah. It's giving. It's, yeah, I told them it's, it's giving me like a uh, 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 fourth dimensional extraterrestrial time traveling. <laughs> time travel. Uh, uh, alien being from... Uh, witch, wizard, RPG, slider, mm-hmm. character selection. <laughs> so specific. Uh, Something. That's, yeah. 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 Yeah, I have no idea what that is. I it's mean, pretty cool. up to interpretation. Up for interpretation. Yeah. They DJ though. So I'm like, you know what? Okay. I feel like this works. If you're just like DJing in that, yeah. in that outfit, you're it's just, cool. You're your own self. Yeah. <laughs> Little... Halloween costume. I, I feel like I I don't know. I don't watch a lot of movies either. So like I wouldn't know like what character if I had the choice to like dress up as or anything. So I go for like very basic outfits. Like whatever I have in my closet. I'm like, okay. You I'll make just, it work. Yeah. I'll just make something out of it. School girl, nerd, yeah. teacher, classic. You know, basic. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Hmm. I feel like I, I, could, I could definitely repurpose my Michael Myers costume. It's just a, it's just coveralls. Yeah. Pretty pretty simple <laughs> maybe i'll wait like two years and then bring it back out again yeah the astronaut costume i don't care i'll, I'll keep yeah it. astronaut it's just too good no one's gonna know <laughs> no one's gonna i don't know. even care if they do know yeah maybe next time i'll buy a helmet mm-hmm. the big <laughs> big old visor i know as long as i can flip it up yeah oh so you can see i know yeah sometimes i'm like how do people see through their costumes like poke little holes or something yeah that? and then you don't know who they are yeah and then you feel kind of bad yeah I'm like but like people that do like extensive like makeup mm, it's cool yeah but then i'm like you're giving me a hug who are I don't you know who you are yeah. <laughs> like remind me of your name again <laughs> oh do, oh you're literally my cousin okay and i'm like oh wait yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i know you I yeah know. we grew up together 
<laughs> yeah, you're my sister. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. My um, sister dressed up as Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's cute. Tonight. Is someone like Piglet or like Eeyore? Is no, she, like, her, bo- her boyfriend's uh, nothing. Oh, he's yeah. him. Yeah, he's him. He's him. He wanted to, but he's been like really busy. Okay. He's uh, they had a party yesterday night, and he DJed, mm-hmm. and it was his first time DJing. Oh. And I wanted to go. Yeah. But I was busy. Oh. Uh, but yeah. she said he did really, really good. That's good. So. That's I was, nice. I was so upset. I was like, I wanted to go so DJ. bad. DJ. I feel like behind the scenes of like a DJ, it's like, I feel like it's really cool. Mm-hmm. I want to learn how to like do all that stuff. Did any of your friends go to? Oh my, what was the festival? Oh, uh, Escape. Escape? Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> or no, none of my friends either. You know how many raper friends? No. I mean, I know like of people who went, but like I'm not like close to them like that. It seems cool though. Have you been to a festival like that? No, I've never. I haven't been to like any big thing like that, like a Coachella or festivals. I don't think my parents would let me, to be honest. They're very strict on me. Uh-huh. So like... I don't think if I even told them if I was going to a concert, like, they probably wouldn't let me. Because they're like, too many people. Like, it's, you never know what's going to happen to you. Oh, uh, what, what did you tell them when you went to the frat party? Um, <laughs> I hope no one's watching this. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. Uh, studying? Wait, what did I say? Oh, uh, I told her that I was going to Pumpkin Patch. Oh. And then, um. I was meeting up with a friend, and then like we were just catching up. <gasps> Imagine if this was her. Yo, that's funny. Who is that? That's my friend Simra. Answer, answer, answer. Why? <laughs> Hello. Simra. Hello. Samra. Hello. What's, what's her name? Her name is Simra. <laughs> Hi, Simra. <laughs> is that no, it's no, not. this is Joseph. Well, you could call me Chewy too. That's okay. Okay, hi. What's up? Where's uh, where's Matt at? Who's that? Sarah. What? Oh yeah. I'm yeah. I'm right here. We're I'm in a podcast thingy right now. Oh, is this what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's about to like spill some secrets out here. In- <laughs> All right, start talking crap about somebody I right know. now. Okay, have fun. Okay, bye. bye. You're probably going to tell me something deep or something. <laughs> I'm like, exposing me already? <laughs> this is what you should know. I know. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to catch up, though. <laughs> Are you meeting up with them tonight? Um, No, I'm not meeting up with her. But my other friend, yeah. Who's Matt? Matt? Oh, it's um one of my friend's friends that she met, like, that she used to work with. Mm-hmm. That's all. I don't know why she assumed that was. <laughs> Maybe your voice sounded like him. Maybe I sound like Matt. Yeah, even though I don't know how Matt sounds like. <laughs> That's so funny. She's probably. Wait, what day is this day? Oh, it's Wednesday, huh? Wait. Wait, what day is it? No, I'm going to let you sit on that. <laughs> is it sun- Monday? It's Monday. Yeah, I had church yesterday. It's Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> Why was I thinking Wednesday? Okay, she had school. It's today. crazy because Halloween is on Friday the 13th this year. Wait, Halloween? Friday the 13th? It's the 31st. You're confusing me. <sighs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. I'm like I'm so gullible. Like I'm you like believe any anything like someone tells me. It's so bad. I'm sorry. I'll stop. No, it's okay. No, like literally we were studying like the cadaver today in anatomy, uh-huh. and someone told me like, oh yeah, that's like your memory gland, but like it was like somewhere in like the lower area of like uh-huh. the female. And I'm like, memories that should be up here, and I almost believed him for a second. Oh, I thought you said memory. 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 But they're pointing at their navel. Yeah, somewhere down below. I was like, huh? <laughs> I was like, this can't be. Are you gaslighting me? <laughs> like, no, that is going to be. Nah. <laughs> okay, but like, he told me I was, he was joking. I was like, okay, please. I went to go look at cadavers once. It's scary. It's it's pretty cool. It is scary. Yeah. It is scary. Uh, it's very, it's mm-hmm. that formaldehyde smell. 
Oh my gosh, I know. I that is hard to get used to. Very hard. No. We see them every time we're in lab now. So it's like we know their names, everything. So oh. like Sakura, one of them. Like, But that's know. better. Popeye. Like treat them re- with respect. Yeah. But like, you know, my worst fear is like, even though it's not going to happen, like I still get scared. I'm like, what if they like magically come alive and like eat me? Like that's just. Eat you? <laughs> or like attack me. Like a zombie? I don't know. Like it's scary to me. Like what if they come alive? And like. What if, like, they're just, like, you know, like this, and they open their eyes at me? Oh, my gosh. I, like, freak my shit. I'd be so scared. Do they have eyes? One of them, yeah. Because sometimes they're, like, closed. Others, they're, like, open. But, like, their oh. eyes are just, like, glass. Like, it looks so creepy. Yeah. I'm, like, stop staring at me. <laughs> I know. But. You know what? We'll just leave them be. Hopefully, they don't turn out to be alive. Rest in peace. I would love to, to give my body to science. Really? Yeah. Oh. I don't want. I don't want. To, I don't want my body to be like buried or like, oh. or even have a funeral. I'd rather my body be cremated and then like not oh, tell really? anybody about it. That's very sus. Sus? Why is that sus? Like you were not gonna tell anyone you died? Or? Oh no no no! <laughs> like you just, just like, die. <laughs> let yourself well, okay, because like I don't want a funeral, so then everybody would show up to like my cremation. Oh okay. Instead. Hmm. And even then, don't put me on like a shelf. Don't put my oh. ashes on a shelf. So where do you want to be? <laughs> I don't know. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe like in a tree or something. Oh, or like, like just, you know when people like pour the ashes into the ocean. ocean? And then like someone who has a person in their family that like did that, they're like, the ocean reminds them of that person. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's sad though. Because then every time you go to the ocean, I know. I don't want to make someone sad. Yeah, I'd be like... This is chewy. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, he loved the ocean. <laughs> that would be so sad. That's why I don't want to tell anybody where I am. Mm, so it won't like. Mm-hmm. And when you when you're like buried, if they know where you're, they're gonna go to your grave all the time to visit you. I feel like that's better though. That or okay, okay, okay. okay. I don't want to get buried, mm-hmm. but I think I'd rather be buried than cremated and then put on a shelf in somebody's house. Okay. Yeah. Because then you feel, like, really guilty every time you walk past that person. How, why would you feel guilty? I don't know. Like, I, it's, okay, I've never experienced it myself. Yeah. Let me say that. So yeah. I don't know how I would actually feel in yeah. that situation. But I think I would feel some type of way. Hmm. I don't think guilty. Not like, guilty. Because guilty sounds like you murdered that person. And, like, wow, here's his ashes, like, right there. That's why I had to say I've, I've never experienced that before. So okay. I don't know. I was going to say. <laughs> But you felt guilty walking <laughs> around somebody. Mm, that hmm. means you did something. <laughs> but I would feel not guilty. I would just be like, I feel like their presence is just like surrounding me whenever I pass. And it's just kind of scary. Because then you're still like personifying that person. And yeah, stuff, like and their like, spirit is like following you every time you like walk past by. That would be a little creepy. <laughs> Do you want to get buried? Um, yeah. Do you want to get buried? Yeah, I think so. But you want a whole pyramid, a crypt? Um, what do you mean? Like a. Oh, like the like, box. Like a, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, oh, I hope I'm getting a crypt is like, uh, like a like an underground space oh, for bodies. I guess is that like the normal thing to do? No, it's only for like monarchies and stuff. Oh no. <laughs> and like the Kardashian family. Oh no, I'm good. I don't need anything <laughs> extravagant like that. Just a good regular burial. Good old six yeah. feet under. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And good, then like, good old little little mahogany maybe. Yeah, just need to find a nice place to put me in, maybe under a tree or something. Oh. So whoever wants to visit me, you know, they can. Yeah. Read a book. <laughs> See, that's why I think it would be cool. Like if I actually go visit somebody. Yeah. And I like talk to them. Yeah, but it's I sad think that's too, cool. No, I, I I just like. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. At least, like, you'll be in touch with whoever, whoever, whoever it is that you're visiting. I, I, th- okay, um, I think I would be disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Follow me here. But, like, but, like, I would want to talk to them in the same way that they were when they were alive, you know? Oh, no, I get that. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Because it's, like, you don't want to, like, sometimes you can't always, like, be sad about it or, like. Yeah. And just. Like, have a normal conversation. Like, oh, like, today was, like, a nice day. Like, I did this and that. I wish you were here. 
Yeah. Stuff like that. Maybe a joke around with them. Like, damn, bro. You've changed. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Your hair has gone long. Like, what have you been doing? Exactly. I like, see the not... gains, bro. <laughs> see... Damn, bro. You really... <laughs> like, you got a new chick buried next to you or what? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so winning. So, um... Talk to your neighbors recently. Yeah. You know, cook, they cooked up some food for you. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> Have you seen Kill Bill? No. Oh. Is that like a scene? Can't watch it. Uh, no. They, can, can I tell you? Yeah. There's a scene where Uma Thurman gets buried alive. Uh-huh. And so she's in a wooden coffin. Yeah. And so, like, she's laying down and she's, like, freaking out. But then she calms down. Oh. And she starts punching. <gasps> the oh. the ceiling you've seen it i think of, I might of, have of the coffin yeah she's then, alive yeah and then but like it's really hard though so it's like her two inch punch kind of moment yeah so then she breaks it and then she climbs through all the dirt and goes straight <gasps> up and like oh that's freaky yeah oh my god super cool <laughs> really cool <laughs> are you into like horror movies no not really I mean, I, I don't know. I don't really go out of my way to watch it. I watched, uh, when I watched Smile. Oh. That was the last one I watched. I was supposed mm-hmm. to, uh, I have a movie pass for, uh, I, have a, I have the Regal Pass. Uh-huh. So I've watched, like, a lot of movies. We haven't gone recently. Yeah. Anyway, we were supposed to go watch two movies in a day, and we were supposed oh. to watch Barbarian, which yeah. I think is Another also a scary, scary movie. Yeah. And then my friend ended up having homework. Oh, yeah. like nothing. Yeah, he had to do, I think he was taking a communications class, so he still is. Mm-hmm. And he had to record a speech. A, a speech. Okay. And he, he kept messing up. I know. I had I had to do a summer um, like session for a class, and it was also speech. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I'd rather take it online than like um, doing class. Because what we did, it was so easy. We just recorded it on like Flipgrid. Do you remember that? Do you know what Flipgrid mm-hmm. is? Oh, it was just... Basically, like, you upload, like, your videos there to mm-hmm. people to watch in the class. But all I had to do was just record myself. But I remember trying so many times, like, just watching myself. And I'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and I have to, like, Damn. redo it. <laughs> and you have to do it, like, in one full uh, mm-hmm. sitting. You can't yeah, edit it. Yeah, I know. So I have to, like, redo it. And then, oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, he was doing it. And I was like, I feel you, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like me trying to do intros for this. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I take a really long time, like an really? unnecessary amount of time. Like what? What's your intros? It's like, hey, just like introducing the person. Oh, it's like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it's no, like, it's, what's up? Fuck, wait, no. <laughs> what the fuck is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I used to watch like, oh my gosh, you know what? I really want to be a blogger. A be blogger. Like, you know, like when they're filling the camera, like, and welcome back. Hey. <laughs> Back at it again with another video. It's your boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This would be like so fun to watch. I say this all the time, but daily vloggers are the backbone, were the backbone yes. and of, of YouTube. Yes, they were. Like. For sure, 100%. The realest troopers. Yes, because they stuck out there continuing daily vlogs. Daily. Even when they had like zero subscribers and they're just going up one by one. And they're editing it yeah, themselves, like the they're filming everything day. like. Dude. Props to them. That's Dude. it's really cool. I really wanted to be a blogger. Like I'm not joking. <laughs> like there's still time. You could just record yourself just studying all the time. Yeah, and be like, okay, this is my day. Yeah. <laughs> time lapse. Of well, that's studying. when a lot of them like really get burnt out. They're like, well, yeah. What right. am I supposed to do? Record myself being at home? Yeah, that's why you have to do something like interesting. Or, like, and then it gets to them. Yeah, like David Dobrik. <laughs> Dude, my friend has a really good song mm-hmm. about like david dobrik and then like him like starting a cult oh and the whole premise is him uh being on trial Mm -hmm. and just being asked questions yeah super cool song it's on soundcloud though like i want them to release it on on all the platforms but i think it needs to get cleaned up a little bit Mm -hmm. sarah true that song is awesome Mm -hmm. just yeah yeah like i think like once you start doing stuff like that, like, they want to, like, do more and more. Like, he's on, like, crazy, like, you know, those, like, stunts and, like, explicity, like, yeah. You know? It's a little scary, to be honest. But it's fun just watching, like, normal people, like, you know. <laughs> normal people. Like, just do, like, daily, like, I don't know, follow throughout their day what they're doing. 
like getting my nails done <laughs> yeah you know or like going to the groceries mm -hmm. or catching up with a friend i mean it's still fun as long as like you know how to like be natural in front of the camera it's like, yeah someone who's really good at it is emma chamberlain yes like and she i mean she does everything by herself Respect. but she knows yeah. just how to how to hold the frame yeah and it's just her yeah being entertaining and it's she's just herself like yeah. i think she's like the realest like and rawest like youtuber like she really set the ground for a lot of like people and like mm -hmm. she started a lot of like trends too yeah i mean and she i mean that's like really recent mm -hmm. of someone who got really big and she's yeah. only 20 21 yeah, she's super young it's crazy but no i like after like she's really good like <laughs> I also did listen to like some of her podcasts too, like when I was like going through some like sad times last year. <laughs> and I remember one of them like she was I was talking about like she said it's okay to like you're not lonely, you're not alone, you're just lonely or something like that. It's like I don't know, it's really nice like whatever she said, but she was just really saying how like, you know, sometimes it's okay for her to like be by herself cuz sometimes she's a very kept person. Mm -hmm. And you know, other times, like it's okay to try new things yourself and stuff yeah. like that. But she's a very independent woman, mm -hmm. and I respect I've, her for that. I finally went around to watching a few of her, mm -hmm. a few of her videos, and yeah. I and I noticed that she's like, very just independent. Her, yeah, alone or I don't know, like I guess yeah, lonely, not yeah. alone, but lonely. Yeah. yeah. And even then, like she still invites her friends whenever she wants to. Yeah. Like she just finds the beauty in just like being by herself and like mm -hmm. you know, just learning on her own too. I guess. It's really cool. Experience. It's really peaceful to to get to a point where you're just where content. You, mm -hmm, content. Yeah, that was me. Kind of, I was trying to like learn that too, because um, when I got COVID in like this summer, it was kind of embarrassing. Like I got really got COVID in June 2022, like two years after. <laughs> but when I got COVID like earlier in summer, like I felt pretty like alone to be honest, because like all my friends were having fun like during summer and i just came back from a vacation from mexico mm -hmm. and i already haven't seen them for like a month because like i was in mexico for like that long and then i came back like wanting to see them i got freaking covid for, like oh. a week and like i just felt so like to myself you know i got like really sad i'm like damn i can't like go out or do anything like i miss seeing everyone was that but, like, worse than uh when it first started mm, like quarantining you mean? yeah I don't even know. Like my COVID? Yeah. I don't think so. I didn't feel as Like those bad. first few months. Oh, no, I didn't feel like as bad. To be honest, I kind of like enjoyed the quarantine era. Did you? Yeah, I did. I think a lot of people found themselves like growing in that era. Because, you know, like you're by yourself. You're learning like who those true people are. Mm-hmm. And you're also, like, trying to experiment new things, like, learning, I don't know, have new hobbies. Yeah. Because you just kept to yourself. Yeah. So, remember that, like, iced coffee trend that everyone would try? Mm -hmm. It was, like, this Dalgona coffee. And, like, if you're on TikTok, you probably wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a lot of trends a lot of people did during quarantine. It was pretty funny. But they were fun. That's true. There was a lot of creativity coming out. Yeah, creativity. <laughs> Everyone and just... a lot of just <sighs> what was really good about it was a lot of independent creators were finally getting respect yeah from just really big corporations people have really big production yeah uh uh values uh they have they just have a lot of money mm -hmm. to to throw out production and things like yeah. that and then you find these independent artists are just small groups of people that are making it work Mm -hmm. because you because i mean there are a lot of rules and regulations especially when it comes to these like daily shows and you see them when they when they were doing it mm -hmm. it like it, everything had to get shut down yeah and you so like sad. the facade is like ripped away and you're like oh this Dang. thing kind of sucks what you're doing on tv i mm -hmm. mean that's like no no like shame or whatever but like there's a disconnection yeah from when you have a lot of people working behind you yeah it's like, just like it's just like like i guess you could say like daily vloggers of like mm -hmm. the people it's just you and the camera yeah like what do you do in quarantine when you're a blogger exactly. <laughs> they would make new things i'm yeah i'm i i've done this for many years mm -hmm. and making up my own fun by myself yeah like 
do a trick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is where I thrive. And so it was, yeah. it was amazing to see that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, opposed uh, uh, to like the unfortunate events of what it was, mm -hmm. I, it, it needs to be recognized even more. Yeah. That there are people doing amazing things that mm -hmm. aren't getting recognized. I know. There's like very small, like, content creators who like are actually i feel like they deserve like way more attention yeah. than like the other people who aren't like mm -hmm. you know doing as much yeah i mean like people that we don't even know about mm -hmm. and we don't know their names yeah it's like <laughs> i wish more people could see them you know? yeah they need their flowers i know props props to them props to you <laughs> still working on it there was um to quote uh logic he said the greatest rapper alive is probably stacking produce mm -hmm. i was like wow i was like even like it's not even patting himself on the back but like yeah. someone who's not a recording artist yeah it, just, it's someone like a regular person a working person. and yeah. they, they're they probably better than anybody Any, right now yeah and it's it's probably it's, it's very true yeah like some people they like talents that you don't even know like uh -huh. they just need to like it's a matter of like putting yourself out there mm -hmm. and showing other people. Cause like some people, they have like great voices. I'm like, damn, you should be like a singer. Mm -hmm. Like they really like really nice voices or like they like can rap good or like, you know, stuff like yeah. that. I'm like, wow. God has favorites. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at all these people. I don't know. <laughs> but you all start from somewhere. So mm -hmm. if you're able to like put yourself out there and then like keep working towards it able to reach your goals what religion do you practice i'm christian yeah like isn't ellie she's also christian mm -hmm. huh yeah yeah so go to church and how about you i'm not religious mm. yeah never have been so your family just like grew up just we did go to church did but it was i don't know when i was like really what, young uh do you remember what church <laughs> no no yeah, I feel like it's very different in a household that's like raised religiously because there's a lot of like morals that like your parents mm -hmm. put on you. And sometimes sometimes it's hard to like understand like why you're like, you know, but as you grow up, it's just stuck like on the certain values, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But that that is partly the reason why I think my mom is strict with me, too, or like my parents, because, you know. It's like you can't be out doing this and that and like, uh -huh. you know, so don't say anything. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to tell them that, uh, um, you said you were studying yeah. instead of, or you were at a Friday party instead of studying. No, don't say it. <laughs> I was studying cause I'm just studious like that. And, uh, Ellie was telling me that. Like, she didn't celebrate Halloween and hasn't celebrated Halloween because she mm -hmm. was really religious. Are you the same? I was talking to her about it at work because <clears throat> at my church, we have this thing called Trunk or Treat. Yeah. And sh I told her and she's like, oh, my gosh, Mayan did the, sa did the same thing. So I think it's like a Christian, like, church type of thing. They don't really have, like, Halloween where you trick or treat. It's called, like, Trunk or Treat. So it's, like, somewhere in the neighborhood or, like, a parking lot or wherever, you just, like, line up your cars. You decorate the trunk. Make it look cute and stuff, and then you have like, um, like treats or whatever. But at the same time, you're also like either like you're spreading like the word of God or like mm -hmm. giving out like little goodie bags or like gospel tracks. Like, I think what you call them? I don't know, but it's like gospel tracks, like people recording their own music. No, not like that. Like, like booklet. You know those like oh, pamphlets, like yeah. those some people like hand out. Yeah. It's like Jesus is a way. Yeah. Like you know stuff like that, but. I think they do that sometimes. I don't know about mine, but like I, I know that other people like they hand out stuff and mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's what like we usually do on Halloween. It's a trunk or treat. Mm -hmm. So instead of like going out, like they still dress up, but it's not really like ah spooky. Like only dressing up as Bible characters. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, no, that would just be a little too much. You can loosen up a little bit. Like, it's, it's not like... How loose? How... Can I show so, up as a zombie? Like... No, yeah. That's fine. Okay. As, I mean, as long as you're nothing like death, like... Within reason. Oh, I can't show huh? up as the Grim Reaper. I don't know. It's something that's probably not as violent, you know? But... Yeah. Yeah. That's, so that's what I've been doing, too, for Halloween. 
like usually when I grew up, because I grew up in that church that I'm still in. Mm -hmm. So I know the same people and we've done the same thing every year. So what we've been doing is just the trunk or treat. And that's what I did every Halloween, except I think last year I went to it. But then usually afterwards, stay in early. So I go out with my other friends. Yeah. And then go be a whatever degenerate <laughs> whatever <laughs> up to interpretation up to interpretation yes yes yeah so whatever it is after <laughs> but that's what we've been doing and El that's what ellie said she's had to do too mm -hmm. so it's like hey same boat here <laughs> sad life not really i don't know <laughs> do you meditate um no i don't meditate i mean as a form of like you know, relaxing and stuff like that. Yeah. I haven't. I would like to try yoga though. Ooh. Yeah. Highly like recommend. Well. Have you tried? Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you take a class or just do it like yourself? Uh, one of my wrestling coaches was a yoga instructor, and he worked. Oh. He also worked mm -hmm. at a studio, so we would always go in for free. Yeah. Oh, that's but fun. I would love doing the hot yoga. So they would just like yeah make make the room really hot yeah. and everybody's just like sweating and it's like okay yoga like burning some calories over here yeah super chill and it gets really hard yeah like <laughs> like a sauna but it's so fun i love saunas oh really yes. yes i don't know i haven't been to sauna but i feel like it wouldn't be my type of thing <gasps> do they have saunas at la fitness yeah they did have saunas <laughs> please go in the sauna it's too late now oh, it oh son of a biscuit it's uh <laughs> you don't have you don't you don't have that pass anymore from nope. the gym? No, but my friend actually has an LA Fitness pass, so I could go with her if she wanted. Either, do they have a steam room? I have no idea. It's just a sauna. They just call it a sauna. Okay, well, either or. Highly recommend go in there okay. just for a few minutes. Just change your life. Okay. Just relax. I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll let you know. How it goes. Um, <laughs> like you come out just, just, just feeling like a new person. Like you're, like you're ready for sleep. Mm-hmm. It's like a new layer of like has shed off. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, I haven't I haven't been in a sauna for so long because I work out mm -hmm. at home now. Yeah. But way better than ice baths. Mm, Those are okay. just cruel. That's just like hypothermia right there. Yeah. Yeah. Sauna, at least you're like sitting, right? And like yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah. I've seen people like just reading working books? out in the sauna oh and I'm God. like, hey, hey. You do relax. <laughs> okay or that <laughs> relax they bring the, like weights in. <laughs> mm, i've never seen weights but i see like people like doing squats and like lunges in there oh i could see how some people do that and i'm like hey let's oh, do gosh. it you know what's really scary the gym locker room like in public <laughs> public gyms <laughs> like have you seen like it's say some things oh so, it's so scary like i remember the first time like i went in um when i got my pass and everything with my friends like i was just chilling and then next thing you know i turn around freaking like these old women like just oh, no. strip naked like oh my gosh i was so scarred i'm like and they're just like standing there like having the time of life walking around like doing their makeup like naked and like what is going on <laughs> they're a little too comfortable but yeah, 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 yeah. You know, old dudes walking around. I've heard like, about like the men too. It's, dude, it's, it's very just, similar. It's the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Like or like people just like trying to like dry themselves with the with 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 the hand dryers. Oh my, yeah. That's, Why? I don't. Like at least cover something. This is what you do on your free time. You like you like doing this. Like this is just like, this is fun to you. I know. They're like, let me just give everyone here a show. Like, do they like want that? Uh, it's kind of funny but a little creepy too i mean the biggest investment you can make is like your health so working out the gym yeah that that and sleep yeah no for real i agreed like at least to some form of being active you mm -hmm. know and like working on like your body and like because i say healthy body equals healthy mind like if you're able to like work out and take care of your body and like your sleep like you're gonna be able to have good mental health <laughs> sorry notification on my computer <laughs> but yeah like i felt like the best whenever i work out like afterwards you know 
you have like an afterglow yeah like i'd be feeling good and like that whole week that like i've been working out i'm like okay it also makes me want to eat better too because i'm like i'm working out so might as well like eat better and, and have like, an appetite yeah so <laughs> you don't feel bad <laughs> i know like i, I just, you know why else are we working out if to not indulge a little bit oh no i definitely like right i would be like snacking on something like okay it evens out <laughs> i'm eating this i'll burn it off later yeah. yeah i mean and you don't have to be like so so strict on your diet like you can enjoy whatever foods you want to just keep it like pretty healthy but... within reason some people can get really neurotic about it mm -hmm. which is scary counting calories and yeah overly i i think that can lead to like you know like body dysmorphia like uh -huh. eating disorders and stuff like that it's, yeah it's a little scary so i don't know just eat what you want as long as it's nothing too too bad and like every single day it's like junk I use um. I actually like having an Apple Watch, but the only reason I like it, I think it's an extreme waste of money. But the only reason I like it is for like tracking workouts, running. Yeah, or like how many steps. I like looking cool. at like how many miles. I'm like, dang. Because you could track it on your phone too. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think your steps. Do you have an Apple Watch? No, I don't. But I used to help out to check uh -huh. my my miles, or sometimes. If and I go, the sleep too. Sleep is cool. Oh, I always use that. Yeah the sleep tracker but then it could tell you like it could tell you your bpm if you have a watch oh. like how good your sleep was yeah. that that's that's pretty really cool. cool like how many beats per minute it's like yeah but sometimes i do get neurotic over that mm. like like the sleep and like how yeah. good was my sleep and oh. how slow was my heart rate so and like, my breath do i have something wrong <laughs> yeah no it'll tell me like your your bpm went below 50 50 beats per minute which is dangerous yeah oh so you're like what is going on in my body <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean i could see that but i don't know have you been sleeping good recently no i haven't no you see me posting I'm yeah just like it i like to I yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i'll post it it's okay i'll I'm stay awake for like another few hours yeah oh my gosh what time do you usually sleep 11 p.m you don't sleep that early i don't i don't okay but that's i mean that's that's like the regular time. yeah it's regular time as um, of recently it's been like two in the morning me too yeah like the last few nights i've been sleeping at like five six a.m like that one night on friday i slept at around like five or six because i came home around five mm -hmm. and then on saturday night i came home around like four thirty five too and then at least last night i stayed in so I slept around like 2.45 and then we'll see about tonight. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's really bad. <laughs> no, it, it's it's bad. Yeah. But it's only just because it's this weekend. Yeah. It's only I just wanted good. to like loosen up this weekend. But like after this, I need to get my sleep back because I've been a zombie. I don't know how I'm awake, but like I think my body's used to it now. It's kind of bad though. Mm. I need to like replenish my cells. They haven't had their full R REM in a while. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So yeah you need to catch up on that it's like three four hours <laughs> maybe that's why i'm not like growing <laughs> yeah just kidding yeah you still got like a foot left mm -hmm. you know what the doctors lied to me when i was little they, they lied like, to me too see come on what's wrong with these doctors my doctor is like okay i see like you know your future height and then like showing me like okay you'll like reach up to like maybe like five something you know um here i am under five 18 years old so whatever <laughs> the doctors never lied to me i'm like i knew yeah i'm I'm taller than both of my parents i'm like oh okay this i'm done i'm done are your parents like really short yeah how how short are they? um let's see if they're shorter five, than uh, mine. five two four ten something like that no way four, who's four ten your like mom that. yeah whoa yeah so like my height because i'm 410 dang okay i can see that so as soon as i as soon as i like started started getting to that point i was like mm, i already knew i already knew this is it for me yeah <laughs> yeah that was me too i already like knew because my mom i think she's like five one five my dad five 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 four <sighs> you could like, you could have at least made us a five four 
man, I don't even know. It's like, come on, genetics. Sometimes, let me just like rewrite the code. <laughs> yeah, sometimes God has favorites. You know? I know. Some people are just born with like a slightly sim- more symmetrical face. Slightly, slightly, yeah. So then it's like, you know, I mean, it just means like a thousand TikTok followers. That's, yeah. what, that's, what, it, that's what it equates to. Yeah, literally. <laughs> just beautiful. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> yeah, it's just easy mode. That's I what it know. is. It's it's true though. Like better looking people, as soon as they have like something like crazy, mm-hmm. they like get all the views, everything. Can we complain about that? Is that yeah. like is that okay? I don't even know. Like hey, ungood looking people. <laughs> stop. Okay, no. Like respect to like good looking people. Like I see why you're making thirst trap. Like if I was like thirst that, trap. If I was like as good looking as you, I probably would be doing like the same thing to like you know, but. At the same time, it's like, how about what happened to personality? <laughs> but that's more of like in real life, though. Because oh. like in real life, it's like personality and looks. If you were to actually yes. have a conversation with some of these people, would it yeah, see, Would it be interesting? Exactly. Like, is there more to the just a pretty face? Mm-hmm. You know? I'm just an OnlyFans account. Stop. That's all I am. <laughs> just that. Like, nothing more. Like, what happened to the connection? <laughs> Mm-hmm. What happened to the energy communication? <laughs> I don't know. I think it really like it. It's a like major like deal breaker if like you know like vibes. I go off of like vibes when I meet like person. Oh yeah. You know like if we're not able to like you know have the same type of energy, then it's it's like. Mm, it's a very okay. catch-all term, but people know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. I had someone on here that does OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. And it was, I mean, they they had the same feeling of like, people just think I'm an OnlyFans. Yeah. It's like, I'm more than this. Yeah. So shout out like those people, like her fans that actually came and watched that podcast and was like really intrigued about what she had to say. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's true though. Cause some people like some really pretty girls, like, you know, they, they post themselves and stuff and like they get all like all these like guys' attention and everything. Yeah. But then the girl's like, I'm more than just this, you know. I'm like Yeah, she said it as a joke, but she was like, Well, actually, no. <laughs> There's nothing deeper than this. <laughs> no, no, she was like actually No, I actually do other things than just like record myself. Like Yeah, exactly. Like you could you out, do what you gotta do, but like she's like, I do more than that. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, it's it's funny to see how like there's so much more to person than like what you just see on the surface level, like you know like you could just see a person like out about on their day and like oh that's cool like they do this and that, but you really don't know. Look at them without their symmetrical face. Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> I bet they don't even have a TikTok. I bet they don't have a thousand TikTok followers. Stop. Oh my gosh. All the all the views. <laughs> I don't know, but. If you got to know those people on a deeper level, yeah. It's like wondering, like, would you really be able to, like, make a connection with them or not? Mm-hmm. I don't know. How often are you using TikTok? Um, like, I go on it, pr- I think, every day. Like, usually when I'm at home. And I've, I haven't been at home a lot, so I haven't been that much. But usually I'm on it pretty often. Or, like, I wouldn't be on it, like, consecutively throughout the throughout the day but like i'd be on it for like a good hour and then like that's it for the day you know yeah so yeah are you on tiktok a lot uh yeah i'm on i'm on tiktok a lot but i i can proudly say i've never gone through the for you page no way. like i've never gone out of my way to just like let it scroll through let it just like mm. pick whatever it wants mm-hmm. for me oh so but I, do? I do spend a lot of time just like going through like uh, looking at my friend stuff, which mm. even that like the friends for you. No, I don't oh. even do that. I go to my friends' individual pages. What? Oh. I just don't like the idea of it scrolling for me and then picking what what it wants. You know what? That that's pretty. Like I didn't think of it like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like automate. Wait, you good? It's fun. It's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Cough drop. I need a cough drop. <laughs> yeah. Do you want one? Oh wait, it's in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for offering. Yeah. Let me just run to my car. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, it's like automated like for you page. And like they can see like what you like and don't like. I feel like the algorithm is very much true. Like I'd be mm-hmm. watching like 
a few gym videos, right? Like I like them, I save them. Next thing you know, my whole for you page is just it's just gym, gym, <laughs> like we go gym, like this is the gym, I'm like mm-hmm. oh my gosh, I don't need it all gym, like I know that's why I sometimes like if I see something funny, I'll like all of the funny videos because like mm-hmm. I want my for you page to be funny. But then they sometimes know that's what that's what you're doing. Yeah. So they start putting some other stuff. They start putting it in like like a witchcraft videos. Oh my gosh. There, just like Loki. Oh my like gosh. People doing tarot card readings. Mm-hmm. Were you there when like, did you ever get that deep into the for you page where they had like weird like really weird like videos where, I don't even know how to explain it. Not even dink, but like. Did you ever have a weird for you page? I've, n- I've never been on the for you page. Oh, I yeah, told you, right. like, I've just, I I know what you're talking about, though. I'm very aware. Like, yeah. there's a podcast where all they do is they just curate. Yeah. That, which just like, re- like, just weird. Very out of pocket people, mm-hmm. and this they don't like to like, they don't like to use the the term like weird or crazy yeah. people. Yeah. But, but there are some interesting characters on TikTok that make some stuff. Yeah. And and and. That's why I, I got it. Like I was deep into like those like for you pages. Like I don't I didn't even like any of them. They just like appeared. It was just like all this interesting like not even like witchcraft but, like something similar. Like I was like, what is going on? Like I don't know. Like if the back rooms were a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Like that was so scary. That's the best description I could get. Yeah. Yeah. For you pages, algorithm, very I mean, these are people that that grew up completely alone, like they were born without a family. I know. I'm not talking orphans. I'm not talking like like not even like they grew up in a group home. Just like mm-hmm. it's just them in the woods. Stop. That's it. Just man versus nature. Just living man versus nature. And then they somehow got a phone. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you mean now. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't know how they get the phone. Or like, have you seen like, um, like some people like making TikToks in jail? <laughs> Like, how does that work? Like, I don't even know. Bro, you- you're in prison. How did they... I don't know. Who... who- like, <laughs> like, how do they even know, like, TikTok dances? Like, I've seen, like, like inmates, like, dancing TikTok dances. And, like, so in jail, do you, like, just scroll through TikTok and, like, learn this dance? Well, we already have the phone, right? I know. But, like, how do they catch on so easily? It's like, Same way we do. I know, it's but... practice. It's just funny. It's like, oh, it looks fun. I'm going to do it. It's funny to me, like, thinking about, like, wow, these prisoners are really, like setting a phone and like not getting caught yeah or like i don't even know how that works i don't know like is this a publicity stunt or like what is publicity stunt yeah how much is it is is like propaganda (laughs) they're like oh prison isn't that bad i know Mm. Mm. they're like prison can be fun (laughs) prison can be fun like look at look at the security guards like dancing Uh uh-huh but i don't know like sorry is that your foot ow oh my bad sorry i'm like swinging my legs (laughs) Um, but yeah, I've seen like people in like prison, like literally like dancing and on my for you page. I'm like, what's going on? I don't know. It's interesting. It seems like they're having a good time. Like good for them. You know, finding fun in, in prison. Do you use Twitter? I don't. Do you? No, I use Twitter. I've deleted it. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to just delete everything. All of it. It's all got to get shut down. Why? Are you just not a social media person? Or what? I am. I oh. am. But I wish I wasn't. It's a yeah. drug. <laughs> it's a drug. <laughs> yeah, inject the meme straight into my veins. Oh my please. Gosh. I know. I feel like it can be very unhealthy, though, sometimes. Yeah. Like, social media. That's why sometimes, like, <clears throat> I would go through phases where I'm like, okay, I'll delete Instagram off, like, my phone for, like, a good, like, four days. And then... I'll be fine. Four days clean. Yeah, four days clean, and then I'll be back. I'm like, okay, reinstalled. But some people do that, though. Like, they deactivate their account, you know. Don't talk to me. Mm -hmm. Only real ones know what's up. Okay, not like that. (laughs) Black screen, black avatar. Like, you on Snapchat, they're like, don't hit me up. Like, it's so funny. But, yeah. I don't know. Cleanse, social media cleanse can be good at times. Cleanse the soul. Cleanse the soul. I know. You know, like the thing where they like um, used to show how many likes a person got on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they turned off that feature like a while back. I feel like it's it's wait helped. how many. What? Like you know, because before you could see how many likes a person gets on an Instagram post. Yeah. 
but now they don't show that anymore like you have the option to turn it off oh like i could turn it off yeah like have you noticed it like you <laughs> oh yeah but they turned it off a while back like so now you don't really see like how many likes a person gets if if they choose to to turn it off i think so yeah but like recently a lot of people have it turned off so i, have it on. I could see how many people like my stuff and then how many oh you can see how many yours gets but can you see how many like yeah. other people yeah yeah oh what I mean, they like, re they recently just did an update. Have you used uh, Instagram hmm. for the iPad? No. It is atrocious. Instagram for the iPad. Think think if they if they took the format like on the phone, mm -hmm. and here's the iPad, and mm -hmm. they just put the phone in the middle like that. Mm -hmm. They didn't expand it. They didn't fix it. Oh. Oh. Uh. It's yeah. It's really gross. And they did change it for the computer, which I which is uh, yeah, which good. The one you pulled up. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's it looks gross. Interesting. Yeah. I don't, I don't like how it's like <laughs> expanded. Or like you can't even like twist. Mm -mm. Uh, hmm. I don't use my iPad a lot. so. Oh, you I'm, are an iPad kid. I'm not. <laughs> I only use my Certified iPad. Certified with capital C. Yeah. <laughs> I only use my iPad for notes for school. Like good notes. Have you heard of that? No. Yeah, I use it for like diagrams and like writing notes but other than that i just use my phone mm -hmm. for other things but it can come in useful you know drawing things or like looking at procreate things. do you use that oh i've heard of, heard of that it's very similar kind of to like good notes you just draw you just like write on it yeah it's fun like it's low-key like um what do you call this like therapeutic just like Mm -hmm. writing and satisfying with your like pen on the tablet does it come out does it come out as text or does it stay as it as written um I, there's options because sometimes you can like write it and it'll go to certain text so i'm like wow look at these pretty notes yeah they've been really honestly apple's been really stepping up their game you can take pictures yeah. and then just like copy paste the yeah. text it's so good so god bless god bless god bless apple Updates. Steve Jobs, I will kiss your toes. Oh my god, Steve Jobs. <laughs> I need a new phone though, low key. Because, like, I dropped my phone so many or times. Or matchers. Huh? Or matchers. Oh, what phone is this? Oh, at? wait. No, we're not. Mm, mine's a little bigger. 11? 12. Oh. Nah. <laughs> Man. Yours is more updated than mine. Yeah. Yeah. I cracked my phone, like, multiple times. So. The last time I was in Mexico, I dropped my phone and then I came back and they couldn't fix the screen and none of my um, photos were like uploaded no. on, on iCloud because I didn't have storage at the time. So literally when I got my new phone, all of my photos from like my vacation in like Mexico, they were all gone. Oh. I was so sad because I took so many photos because we went to Cancun and, you know, yeah. it was so beautiful. Oh, and it like, is beautiful. And all of my nice pictures, gone. I was like, dang. So I just had to be in the moment. So all I had left was just like at least a few Snapchat memories. <laughs> but it's not like the same as like the ones I took on my camera. <laughs> you guys just don't get it. Mm -mm. It's like no live photos. <laughs> no live photos? I hate live photos. Really? I don't like them. Why? What do I need an extra three seconds for? No, it's fun. Because, like, if you're, like, in the moment, like, doing something cute, like, you could just, like, play just, the life. It just takes up extra space. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, it's it's real and raw. It's real like, and raw. Like, live photos. Like, mm -hmm. you can hear, like, the person, like, in the background. That's what Be Real should do. It should mm. just be live photos. Oh. Three seconds. Wait, that would be cool, Loki. And then you know what they should do? They should just make it 15 seconds. Why? And like, then they should just like make it a minute. Mm, okay, that's a little too long. What if you're like on the toilet and you're like... <laughs> no, no, I'm just making fun of TikTok. How uh, oh, there's like over time they're like, oh, there seems to be a lot of people who really enjoy watching long videos on TikTok. Yeah. Like, that's just the main source of entertainment. Like mm -hmm. there's people that watch full Three on minutes. episodes yeah. of a show. Mm -hmm. mm. Fuck it, 15 minute TikToks. Dang. That's so long, though. Yeah, it is long. That's like watching a whole, like, eat a video or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I hope Be Real doesn't change, though. Yeah. I really like it. I hope it, I hope it stays, like, exactly what it is. But I don't know. It might be subject to 
every social media. I don't want to say social media downfall, but like just trying to implement. <laughs> Breathe. I- implement every feature um, and just like copy off of each other. I know. Like, have you seen TikTok? Like, they have like the what is it? Stories now. Yeah, or like the be real type thing. Like, they have not like they have literally the same thing as be real on TikTok now. They copy to be real. Yeah. Let me see. I show you. Like, literally, it's like, oh, post, like, you're able to post now or something like that. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, hold up. Has the B-roll come out today? Um, I don't think so. No, I haven't gotten it yet. Man. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. It's literally. (gasps) Wait, wait. Be the first to post a now. Yeah. So, it's literally the same thing. I've never tried it. Yeah. Let me see. They really just stole Be Real. Wow. Yeah. I don't even know who these people are. Like, these aren't even my friends. How? That's wild. You can't see their pictures until you post yours. Yeah. Dude. That's a little. Will TikTok be supreme leader? Nah, Be Real started it, so. <laughs> Snapchat also started it. Oh, yeah. Look where that is. Well, e- yeah, everyone's just copying each other. No original thought. Oh my god, my co-star. Mm-hmm. Not be bringing up co-star. Co-star said. Co-star, co-star said today. Mm-hmm. Let me show you. Oh, I got, I, I always like to see. All right, listen right here. Look at that. Wait, what? You see the the. Your right day glance authenticity yeah. is a lie. Authenticity is a lie. That's what co-star told me today. Oh. Oh wait, bye. I'm thinking of like I thought you said. I thought you meant co-star as if like the podcast, like your co-worker. <laughs> I was like, what co-star? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wait, what's co-star then? Is that like an app? <laughs> co-star is an astrology app. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense now. <laughs> I was like, co-star? Like they texted you off. No, I, I, I don't have a co-star host okay. that is was, never featured here. Okay, I was going to say, okay. No. <laughs> Okay, your no, co-star. So, co-star, so co-star is an astrology app and i like using it just for like quotes that it gives me every day mm-hmm. but sometimes they're like super unhinged like that one yeah authenticity is a lie. a lie whoa what is that they need to calm down oh, wow what other ones have they said uh I, I like to save some of them that are really good i don't know here i used to have something like this it was like um daily reminders type thing protect your heart that was yesterday um a relationship is a commitment to finding someone else's problem as interesting as your own. That one's pretty cool. That one was the, from the day before. That one, I like that one. That one's good. Having their own problems. It's just like, you just, you find someone else's problems as interesting as yours. Okay, everybody's got problems. Yeah. And then you just, it's nice though. Like you get through the same things together and like, yeah. you know, working on whatever it is as like your relationship. Mm-hmm. I don't even follow astrology. I just like it for that. Oh, I had an app too like that. I forgot what it was called, but it basically gave Little me the reminders. Same thing. Yeah, sprinkle of Jesus. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> You're so messed Dude. up for that. <laughs> don't be mocking me now. <laughs> no. Sprinkle of Jesus was cool. I always uh, uh it was always advertised. <laughs> Some of these quotes look really good. Jeremiah. <laughs> oh my gosh no it was like actually like good reminders but some of them like they do be it they were hitting like way too personal no i'm like how do you know this Mm -hmm. like hmm. i think tiktok needs one tiktok needs a a little reminder thing like that where it gives you like quotes of the day that would be cool but because it works in with like what you're viewing and stuff yeah give you like really personal specific oh really get into your brain that that would be very like, wow, very deep. Mm-hmm. They're like, you need to get your ass up and work out now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Or like, stop. Oh, have you ever gone to the point where TikTok tells you to stop scrolling? You I've, haven't. I've oh, because you that haven't. Problem. I keep upgrading. Yeah, I've gotten that like multiple times. Like, if you're on it for too long, there's a person that pops up, and they're like, stop. You've been on TikTok like for way too long. You want to stop scrolling? And then this is this is TikTok putting out their own TikTok. Mm-hmm. 
like it's from tiktok yeah and then they're like stop scrolling like you've been scrolling for way too long like you want to give your eyes a break or something like that i've gone to that point where they're like oh you've been on it for too long i'm like dang and then wow, like i never knew that was a thing no and then it's so funny because i look at the comments and they're like how did you know or like i'm trying to sleep right now or something like that it's so funny yeah to like stop scrolling or something yeah but, so, tic- like, but tiktok after 8 p.m be hitting different no i know i usually go on tiktok like at night so right before bed and then i just end up like for two hours <laughs> uh-huh so bad oh yeah. no I'll just like convince. Them. I use Instagram a lot. Like mm-hmm. I'll hit that explore page. Oh, Ooh, that's been really bad recently. Nothing's on my explore page. <laughs> nothing's on your explore page. Or like, like just very generic stuff. Yeah, nothing interesting. Nothing specific. What's yours looking like? <clears throat> right now, it's um, a lot of gym stuff. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I know. I feel like whenever you watch something related to the gym, like on any app. Everything else follows it is just like gym, gym, gym. I'm okay with that though. Yeah, but it's it's a motivation too, Loki. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay. No, sometimes it gets really weird because like it's sometimes like it's like uh. Sometimes it's people. Okay, you get some of the body dysmorphia stuff. Mm-hmm. Scary. Yeah. And then there's people that are just like being really toxic of like, why I go to the gym is to like make oh. them regret. Oh. I'm like, okay, relax, calm down. I just want to <laughs> see the cool. Funny memes. It's like, like I'm gonna get her back. Like she's yes. gonna see me like buff and everything. It's like okay. No, but I okay. I do believe guys like think like that though. Like, do that's you? the only reason why they go to the gym. Yeah. Okay, not only, but like I know that some guys actually do that. Like I wouldn't blame them. That makes sense. Yeah. You know, if like if you go through a really like a rough breakup and then they're like, okay, I want to make her like regret like everything. So like they go to the gym every single day and then. Loki sometimes it works because like you see someone like damn he got like buff like man they're in the gym no headphones yeah no pre workout no it's just the breakup bro it's just that it's just that breakup energy Mm-mm. that's really just driving their workout for the day and for the next few months mm-hmm. but there are some that are really good that kind of like spin it and they're like um you know I'm working out for myself not because of the breakup like this no. like it is truly self care yeah era type that was me which is good yeah (laughs) i'm like you know gotta work on yourself it was breakup turned yeah turned self-care yeah which is it's a good thing to go into like self-care right after that like cool thing i feel like after a relationship because reading books yeah poetry poetry books Mm -hmm. honey and milk oh milk and honey (laughs) yeah do you have one poetry book do i no no i've borrowed a few I, i i i um Milk and honey. I think a few other ones. They're really remember. good. But yeah, they l- hit so different. <laughs> like I'd be at Barnes and Nobles, go to the poetry section. I flip to like certain pages. I feel like every single one just like relates. I'm like, wow, she hit that on a good note. Makes me. Think. She gets me. No, for real. I was just like after every single page, I'm like, damn. <laughs> just like, damn. Just damn. That hit. That hit. <laughs> but so, but then like you read all of it. In like a single sitting. Mm-hmm. I feel like you can read poetry books like so much faster than like stories. Well, obviously because it's like shorter, but mm-hmm. they're really. But then you finish it and you're like, damn it. I know. I bought one for myself. I'm pretty sure I read like every single page there is now. <laughs> but they're really good. I love that feeling though of after mm-hmm. uh, like a really good movie that just like really makes you think. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, usually with. Um, have you seen mid nineties? No. Oh my god! What's the genre of movie it's called? It's the genre of movie where like nothing happens. There's like no serious plot. Yeah. It's escaping yeah. me. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, like the genre. Yeah, like a genre of movie. Where what? Where nothing necessarily happens. There's no oh. extreme plot. There's no like call to action. And oh. like climax conclusion, the no movie idea. kind of just is. Oh, I I don't know what the name of it is. <sighs> oh my god, <laughs> I gotta look it up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what genre? <laughs> genre of where there is no plot. <laughs> yeah. Yay. 
No pot. Molt. Molt. <laughs> no. no, no, that's not it. That's not it. Loose blood. I'm telling you, dude. What is it? I've never oh. heard of that. Coming of age film. Well, <laughs> maybe you didn't word it right. Genre of movie where there is no plot. Or a genre. What do you call? <laughs> yeah, what do you call a movie with no plot? Yeah. Okay. You gotta like formulate like the right like questions for Google. Movie where there's no plot. Where nothing happens, no plot. What the fuck? It literally says basically it's when movies are all plot. It's just giving you examples of movies. Oh, do you know the name of your of the movie? Mid nineties. Oh, <gasps> just right. Good. Yeah. Yes. What yes. genre is mid nineties? Uh. Mid nineties genre. Please, please. Damn it! What? Oh my god, that scared me. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. Indie? <laughs> it's an indie film, bro. That's just what they're called. What? Indie gen? I guess you're just gonna have the thought of not knowing. No! <laughs> oh my god. Whatever. It's fine. I used to know it, but now I don't. Yeah. Anyway, those movies are really good. <laughs> well, they just like really like just touch you. Yeah. And then you don't know what to do with your life afterwards. Oh. Have you seen everything everywhere all at once? I haven't yet. Ooh. I'm scared to see it. Like, I heard it's very, like, yeah. deep to the core. Yeah. And this is a message to Jaden because they were bugging me a lot mm -hmm. to watch it. Yeah. And I put it off for many weeks. Yeah. I put it off since it came out. Yeah. I knew it was a really good film. Yeah. I just. So did you end watch up watching it? it? I did. How was it? Yeah. It didn't make me cry. Okay. Like, it made a lot of people cry. Yeah. But I. I really enjoyed it. Mm, that's good. I want to watch it. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't watched something that made me cry in a long time. So. Mm, you know what? I wanted to watch Notebook, cause like it makes you cry. <laughs> have you seen it before? I have, but like. Should I watch it? Should I? Yeah. Will it make me cry? Yeah. Okay. I'll make you cry. Okay. <laughs> I mean, at least for me. Well, I cry at anything, so. Like, <laughs> but it is a sad movie, though. It's cute, but sad. When was the last time you cried? Um, probably like two days ago, or like I don't know. I cry. I feel like I cry every day, but like that kind of sounds depressing. It kind of sounds healthy. Um, no, crying is healthy. I agree on that because sometimes it's like it's not like a depressing type of cry that I have. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. just like just let it out, you know? Yeah. Like sometimes I just want to cry for no reason. It doesn't make sense, but like. Just letting the tears out is it's healthy, healthy way. You get some of the best sleep. Yeah, yeah, for real. But then I wake up having like puffy eyes. <laughs> like maybe that was not worth. <laughs> but no, I think I cried probably like three, four days ago. I'm not even sure. I forgot why. You don't even remember what it was I, about. I don't remember why. Usually, um, for me, oh, you, I know. I usually cry like if I'm about to get my period. <laughs> Like a week, the week before is just atrocious. Yeah, typical. Atrocious. Like I be so depressed and sad for no reason. And then you remember. And then and like, like Damn it. I get it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's why. That's why. <laughs> that's literally why. Like I get the worst like mood swings. I feel so bad, but I'm like, I can't. Like I just, I'm just like. <laughs> just close yourself off from everybody. I know, but it makes sense hormones it shouldn't be that way i know oh my gosh it's like using like your period date. why was i yeah what? <laughs> using your period as an excuse for everything <laughs> like for girls even with even when you're not on your period yeah i'd be like oh that makes sense or like oh it's okay i'm on period like i can eat whatever i want it's fine <laughs> <laughs> just to be a shitty person i know like it gives me an excuse to like not be myself <laughs> but no i swear i'm a good person but like do you think you're a good person? Yeah. I hope so. No, no, no. I'm just... 
I'm asking. I'm asking for your own opinion. If you think you're a good person, yeah, I would. Who's say to say? So. You know, who writes the rules? Exactly. Whatever you think is right. Um, I hope I haven't done anything bad. Actually, wait. I have, but like, it's not like murder type bad. We can all agree on that. <laughs> yeah, like we've all done something in our lives that is probably something we shouldn't, weren't supposed to do. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's. It's an experience. I feel like everything's like just a learning experience in life. Like you go through something and then at the end, it could be a good or bad result, but like you're able to grow from it. You know? That was my 2022 um, word of the year. Mine was growth. Growth. Yeah. So like everything. I'm Do you feel like you've up. achieved it? Mm, yeah. I definitely would say. Like just as a person and like how I've been like dealing with like change in my life and like when some like problems or difficulties come in my way it's like you know I've learned from the past and I know how to be a better person now I know it works for me what doesn't like yeah yeah just like working on yourself and like becoming a better person we're two months well two months and a day from 2023 that's crazy What's going to be <clears throat> the word for 2023? I, I have no idea. It'll come to you. Yeah, it'll come to me. Like, it's always by the end of the year, something has bound to happen that will make you be like, dang, you know. So something happened in 2022 that was like dramatic or like... Um, 2021. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2021. Like last year, rough year. <laughs> so rough. Not just because of like senior year, but like just in general, everything, like family personal life like there's a lot of things that happened in last mm-hmm. year so a lot it. lots of tears shed so i was like you know what growth we're crying for no reason this year mm-hmm. in 2022 i had a reason <laughs> last year i had a reason but now i'm just crying just because yeah yeah <laughs> that's we're, growth we're, we're cr- that is growth that's we're growth. crying just for good sleep exactly i'm not Nothing bad has happened. Like, yet. No, I don't want to say well, yet, actually, but like nothing has happened. <laughs> okay, nothing? No, right? <laughs> nothing as bad as 2021. Yeah, there you go. Sounds like growth to me. Yeah, sounds like growth. <laughs> Period. <laughs> like, you really be, I don't know, going through stuff every day. But at the end of the day... Hopefully you're better than you were before. Just gotta keep cranking that soldier boy. Stop. <laughs> I think we should end it there. Okay. Do not let yes. the soldier boy crank you. Yes. Soldier boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye. Go touch some grass. <laughs>